Welcome to Fortnite, an extremely fast-paced game played competitively around the world. Originally, in 2016, Fortnite was released as Save the World, which is a PvE. PvE stands for Player vs. Environment, meaning that a player or a group of players are placed in a world where they battle against zombies or other life forms to survive. A month later, Epic Games released their second game mode called Battle Royale. Instead of players working together, this game was centered around them fighting against one another. These types of games are called PvP, also known as player versus player. As players load into the game, they spawn flying above the map in the transportation vehicle that we call the battle bus. As the bus flies over the map, players can jump out and glide down to their desired location. Once the bus reaches its final stop, all players are ejected and are forced to fly down. Upon landing, the objective is to find chests, which contain weapons, health, materials, and throwables. Once acquired, players can choose between fighting and or looting. In order to fight, gaining materials is on the top of the list. To get these mats, the players can destroy trees for wood, rocks for stone, and car slash metallic objects for metal. In public lobbies, all mats are capped at 999, and in more competitive atmospheres, 500. For a building, there are four options that a player can choose from. Roof or a cone, which is useful for slowing down opponents during build fights. Stairs or ramps, which can be used to gain high ground or to defend against incoming attacks. Floors, which are used to stabilize builds and lets the player keep the elevation they are on. And finally, walls, which protect from bullet spray and helping wounded teammates. With the use of all four, players are able to alter the look of each build with a tool called editing. Editing allows players to escape boxes, trap enemies, and gain peek shots against other opponents. For weapons, there are six different types a player could use. Pistols, assault rifles, snipers, small machine guns, shotguns, and miscellaneous. Each category has its own rarity of that weapon that consists of gray, green, blue, purple, and gold. Gray, which deals the least amount of damage, and gold dealing the most. The objective is to outlast or eliminate all other opponents and achieve the victory royale. In the end, players can have endless possibilities to win. But no matter how you choose to play, you'll always have fun playing Fortnite. Good afternoon, Griffins. My name is Scorch Darren, also known as Darren Brinks. And right next to me, go ahead and introduce yourself. Cody Doc McLaughlin. Cody, how you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Just chilling on a Sunday. Yeah, that's good to hear. It's pretty quiet, actually. If it I is. I would say so myself. It is. But if you're joining us, this is the Fortnite Nace Collegiate uh, Series. Uh, tonight, or uh, today... Right, because hopefully this won't. Hopefully, we're not here for the next day. Uh, I don't think it'll be for. Yeah, <laughs> um, this is uh, as I just said the Nace series. We got four games today. Uh, this is, I believe, one of their new uh, tournaments that they are playing in. So hopefully, yep, it goes yep, well. Yep. Cody, what are you excited for? Well, we haven't been in Nace in quite some time. Uh, we did do Nace uh, or participate in their leagues uh, at least a year ago. I remember mm -hmm. we did. And I, I, if I remember correctly, I think we did finish top 10 out of, I believe, maybe 70 teams in their That's league match. Uh, compared, And it was two teams per college. Us, I believe we did have two teams. One of them did finish top 10. The other, I believe, was top 20, I believe, top 30. Sure. Okay. Uh, but we did really well. I'm very curious, though, since this isn't a full-on league match. This is just a set of series tournament, uh, tournaments just put together. I'm very curious to see how uh, how we do in these. I think we'll do very well since it's been a while because since then, obviously, our skills have improved. So right. um, I'm, I'm hoping to see another top 10 or uh, maybe a win out of these four matches. Right. I do know uh, from what I've saw, at least in these past, you know, past couple of weeks, uh, 
from what I saw, I know that uh, we've definitely had like these bumpy little rocks in the road. Yeah. Uh, especially in things like uh, ECAC and all that fun stuff. But I do know as of recently, you know, we usually place close to the top 10. Uh, so my ho- uh, hopes are pretty high uh, for about that. Uh, especially usually, you know, with uh, Jackie Moon. He's usually, uh, how I would say, he usually knows how to survive really well. He usually yeah. knows how to just, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, when it comes to scoring for Nace, I don't exactly know how that goes. Is it the same thing with placement and kills? Or It, it is. Uh, placement, I believe, uh, I didn't get a, we did, the rule book didn't say a whole lot. Uh, play, if it's anything like the league, placement's going to start again around uh, at least 20th, uh, 20th place and higher. Mm-hmm. Uh, eliminations, I believe, are two points. Okay. And uh, I think, uh, obviously, placement points grow higher, but and then when if you hit Victory Royale, I believe it's 60 points is okay. the highest. Uh, I don't think there is a cap for this uh, league like the others do for point placement uh, or points in the match. Mm-hmm. But uh, I did like a look. I do see a lot of old colleges we did used to play against, uh, one of them being, I believe, Full Sails. So I remember they were a very, very good opponent in this one. Same thing, I believe Albany's also in this also. Oh, wow, okay. So we'll definitely see some uh, people from even uh, current leagues, too. They definitely are going to put up a heck of a fight, but I'm hoping our team will do – Amazing today. I've been talking to my players and working with them as best as we could. We've been getting ready for this. After this, I believe there's going to be two more. Uh, this is just an open series to see if we can move on to the other two. Okay. But I have a good feeling these four matches are going to be good. First one, maybe second one might be rocky, but I know we'll definitely get some solid matches in today. Sure, already. And I do know that you are the manager, of course. So um, either, you know, maybe I missed it in there, but uh, I do know, uh, you know, you're very close with your players, mm-hmm. I do assume. Uh, so, what is just kind of a thing that they've started off with in a rough start with? Like, what what do you think? Because I do know that, uh, obviously, you know, Jackie Moon's been playing for a long time, too, and so has Gomez the third. But Gomez the third kind of played in the solo series last semester, right? Yes. And so, when it came to Gomez the third, he, he really is just, you know, it's all on me. You know what I mean? So, yeah. like, definitely having a duo, right? Jackie Moon was used to having a duo, but now he has a new uh, duo partner, Gomez the third. Yeah. What do, you, what do you think they kind of just struggled with, and what do you think they're getting better at? So, for both of them, obviously, uh, all the players that have been on the Fortnite team since the past have all had issues. Something I noticed with uh, Gomez was uh, speed on editing, moving mm-hmm. fast, especially being able to get a tight situations. Definitely has improved on that. Uh, for Jackie Moon, it was always uh, someone being in his face. Because when someone's in your face in the game, you need to get distance so you can edit them out of your face to recover mm-hmm. or get them stuck in a situation that you can take advantage of and get in, gain high ground. Mm-hmm. For me, I'm not that good uh, at the game. But the thing I am good at is being in their face, being able to get into their uh, boxes without them being known. Because here's the thing. Whenever you go into a game, you're going to be expect, uh, especially for a uh, creative game, you're going to be focusing on the person that's the most threat. You're going to think, right. okay, this guy's not really going to be that big of a threat. I'm sure I could take him. For them, they never see me coming. I always get in there. Can't always hit my shots. Can't build or edit as fast as they can. <laughs> but when it comes right. to the time, I always somehow – get in their box. I always scare the heck out of them. And it, it, it's funny on my part, but right. I feel like me doing that improves. And they definitely have improved because I've seen a lot of gain and improvement there, especially from both sides of them. Jackie Moon, like I said, he's been able to get out of tight situations now. And Gomez, he's still working on building and editing, but he's definitely improved a heck of a lot better than he has sure. in the past. Right, sure. And, you know, something I have noticed is that they're definitely faster with the way, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. So, here, I'll focus on when they actually, you know, drop it. I've noticed that they're faster getting in and out. Something that I do hope for is I know uh, that playing slow can sometimes uh, – uh, playing slow can oftentimes, you know, be in your favor if you just play slow and, you know, let everyone else fight it out. That works. But usually what happens there, uh, what I think uh, sometimes a small issue could be is that, you know, if you're playing too slow, uh, sometimes you get in the mindset that sometimes things are going to just – uh, I wouldn't say go your way, go your way, yeah. but I'd more or less say like you're just not prepared for things as much if you relax way too much yep. or play too slow because at that point I do often notice that you know sometimes with Jackie Moon or Gomez the third are farming they don't necessarily realize that there's also a team running up on them because that team managed to go ahead and drop down fast and then uh, what they do is they usually rotate uh, towards Rocky 
I believe is that where they usually drop Rocky Reels? Or? Yes, Rocky Reels is their place. I'm not sure what they're going to land at this uh, event. I didn't get to talk to them about that. Uh, it kind of right. slipped my mind. But to be honest, most likely they'll be going there for their first drop. Again, it is their go-to spot. Obviously, they got all the loot they can want. Luke's trailer there just for uh, some <laughs> yeah. giggles right there. We've uh, seen it about eight times we've destroyed Luke's trailer here, right? Actually, I think we're at nine. Nine? Yeah. Okay, sure. And uh, <laughs> still getting good loot from that. Uh, none, still none, said, none of the good loot that we choose to take. <laughs> uh, true, true, true. Luke's got to step Still haven't out, seen the Corbus, so. though, but I'm sure we'll find him sooner or later. Oh, yeah. I saw him the other day during practice. He was over in the desert. Uh, I was stuck in the storm, and he saved me. Can you just say, do you think he's disabled the Corbus? What? Can you, you think you would disable the Corbus? <sighs> Most likely or you Columbus, can. Cor- whatever I, I I don't think they disable him in this one. To be okay. honest, uh, it's he's not broken. He's not gonna make anything too uh unf- to an unfair advantage. Literally, it's just feeding him and him dropping loot, and then he can also launch you. Don't shoot him though, because he will go yeah, into Yeah, I, I feel I feel like with like but, with the way you make it sound like if you if you shoot the Cor- Corbus. Yeah. Like if you shoot, shoot it, or steal his food, yeah. Like if you shoot or steal his food, you make it seem like he's just going to go on an absolute rampage and like completely just decimate you, know, you and you. So, squad. do you know how I, I am extremely in love? Uh, my favorite food is Chipotle. Yeah, Chipotle. Yeah, picture <laughs> someone cutting in front of me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I there ain't see. no fear sometimes, that's going to Sometimes hold, I like to imagine back. that when you say that. Uh, the manager's like, oh, it's that one guy again. He's throwing a fit out in the dining room. Give him his food and get him out. <laughs> Why does he keep coming back to this location? Give me double. Get okay, me. that's why. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyways, yeah, when it really comes up to it, sometimes what I really hope uh, from Griffin Esports when they play Fortnite is that, you know, they just play just a little bit faster. Yeah. You know, once, uh, you know, playing, I mean, it can work in our favor, but I do know that sometimes gaining those extra points could also help. But uh, as I usually ask you the question, uh, I might as well ask again, do you think it's more important to just sit sit behind and then fight for those last and final kills, or do you think it's more worth uh, to play more aggressive and try and rack up more points? In, in tournaments and leagues like these, mm-hmm. they're – if you definitely want to take a strong lead, if you want to be in the top, you got to be aggressive. Right. Hiding, uh, just doing placement, and then trying to fight towards the end, <clears throat> it's not going to work out. Okay. You have to be aggressive to get those points. Uh, to definitely uh, be in the, even in the top three, you need to be aggressive. You need to get there, land, grab all you need, shield up, and move on. Mm-hmm. You need to find someone fast. You need to keep going. You need to push the next one the next. Just the same way. Like when we play Apex, obviously we're going to go find people. We're not going to stand in one spot. We want eliminations because we mm-hmm. get bored if we get to stand there. For them, they need to. They need to push. They need to be aggressive. And that is something we've been talking about. And they are doing that. It's just it's hard to find people with all these small lobbies, especially in these leagues and tournaments. Right, right now there's only 25 people in there. Obviously someone's missing someone that's not queued up yet. <laughs> I but, think we're missing a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, at the moment we are. If not, this is going to be a very short, uh, actually a very long tournament because everyone's going to be so small, like, you know, small groups. It's not going to be right. going fast. But I'm hoping we get more people in here. If not, hey, it's cool. Uh, less of a challenge for us, but I mean, still going to be putting up fights towards the end. But no, aggressiveness is something that needs to be set for this. Not saying that in a bad way that. You need to be aggressive to be on the team, but aggressive is needed to taste the victory in this game. Right. Uh, yeah, the, I honestly probably couldn't have said that any better. <laughs> I do know that usually when we, again, uh, I usually make the statement, or I'll make it again. When you usually play slow, it, you, you definitely want to keep yourself in the same momentum because once you like lose that momentum, you're not going to expect things, and you usually give people the advantage uh, when it comes into fights too. Of course, when it comes to fights, usually what I know is that uh, you definitely uh, need to build faster. You definitely need to uh, get the upper advantage because I know that the more builds you have, they can't necessarily control well, any of those builds. Half the time, it's not even about who can build faster. It's... Yeah. Again, with our other games, it's like a game of chess. Okay. It's about making the right moves. It's about making the right calls. Obviously, there's all the you've seen videos of like someone at the bottom, and then they take a shot at a person, and they do that super build all the way to the top, and then <laughs> that person immediately gets destroyed, 
uh, they get sniped, they get shotgunned, or something like that. Right. It's all about making the right call. You don't even always have to have the high ground. It's about being able to get out of situations and make those situations into your advantage. Mm -hmm. At the end, checkmate. Yeah, I like checkers too. <laughs> that too. <laughs> but of course, checkers King is me. not. <laughs> checkers isn't as uh, as much as a. Uh, how do I put this? Isn't as much as a very. I don't. I don't want to say intellectual game, but more or less, uh, you know, it's the, easier it, to play checkers than it is to play chess. It is, and obviously, compared to like for one of our games, League of Legends. For that, it's yep. all strategy based. You obviously have to think it through before making a move. If you don't, and you just rush into things, obviously you're going to get destroyed. Right. Obviously, Fortnite's not as uh, complicated, not as uh, thought based, especially with all the different characters in the game. Obviously, mm -hmm. for this one, you have one character. It, the only thing you got to know is building, editing, and your guns. Right. For that, you have a lot more. But in the same ground, it's strategy based. You got to be smart with your moves and know when to retreat, know when to push, know when to. Try to take the high ground. Obviously, there's no high ground in League of Legends. It's all, you know, flat ground based. Yeah. But, again, it's all strategy based. At least uh, that's how it is for all of our games. Strategy mm -hmm. based for every single one. You got to know uh, what moves to make and what moves to not do. If you don't, you'll know your error pretty fast. Right. And so uh, one thing uh, I was going to bring up, of course, I, I do like the analogy there uh, where you were <laughs> kind of uh, – uh, what's it called? Comparing the two games, of course. Yeah, no, usually most of the time it's knowledge, but then when it, when it comes down to knowledge, sometimes it just also comes down to that last bullet or uh, that la or uh, that final bullet, kind of, or it comes down to, you know, if you're just more mechanically uh, scale-based. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, of course, I do feel like that uh, if lucky enough, uh, as we were talking about, you know, maybe if they do just decide that they want to go ahead and wait out the game and just get the last final kills, man, they'll be sitting at plus 60. So going back onto it, it might be more worth it if they actually uh, went ahead uh, and played safe. You know what I mean? That does make sense in a lot of terms, but it also depends on who you're playing with. Right. Obviously, say you get into a high league game. Obviously, you don't. I, I don't know if you know who Booga is. He uh, currently he is the. Do you know who that is? Booga. Booga. No. Do you know who Ninja is? Yeah, I know who Ninja cool. is. Cool. Say you go into a tournament and he's involved in it. He's mm -hmm. going to be pushing for kills. Obviously, you know he's going to be one to do that, but you got to be aggressive with it. <laughs> Go on, sorry. <laughs> but you can't you can't be sneaky and just hide. You you know he's going to be pushing for kills. If you want right. to take first, you got to be aggressive. <laughs> most likely, uh, yeah. most likely, it does look like we had to restart the queue. Most likely, someone gave out the code, <laughs> and it yeah, had to restart. Yeah, yeah, code was leaked. So oh, so is everyone just trying to join uh, in? Uh, uh, well, you do have to sign up to be in this. Yeah. So obviously, we can't have a bunch of randos that aren't signed up in this. So if the code gets leaked, everyone just try and join. Tries to join. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they're probably making a new one. Is and what since it says a college-based tournament, uh, we can't have just random people joining, like just people that aren't in a college. Okay. So sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you can see the numbers are going back to what it was earlier. I don't even know how many people are in this. I looked earlier, and there was at least over uh, 30 different teams that were on the list. Right. But I don't know where they're all at. Maybe most of them already backed out, considering it's a Sunday. But, I mean, hey, better chances for us again. Right. And, uh, okay, Cody, we're going to go into our own uh, kind of opinionated conversation here. Cody, what's your favorite gun? I need to know. We usually have these talks before. Current seasons or overall? Uh, how about we do both? Current season, I would have to go... It's been a while since I've played Fortnite, but... Uh, yeah. I don't know. Probably the aim down sight uh, assault rifle. Right now in this season? For this season. Overall, P90. P90? I don't, I don't know. What I was going to bring, I believe it's the M... Uh, what is it called? The, uh, the K7 assault rifle. I believe it's called, right? The MK7 assault rifle. Yeah, same one I was thinking about. Yeah, it, it, that thing is accurate. It's like scary accurate kind of. Well, the yep. only thing I don't like is about how like big the red dot is. You kind of can't, you know, see your target is the best way I'm going to go ahead and put it. Uh, but I do know that's one of my favorite. Now, when it comes to sniping, uh, I know I tried grabbing uh, one of the snipers the other day, and I was like, man, this thing is not what I remember it to be. Uh, I believe if I can remember... 
Uh, the usual <laughs> typical what? <laughs> The red dot's so big. No, it's not, dude. It's not even there. Uh, it's probably because I kept shine, uh, shining a laser in my eye when I was a little <laughs> kid, one of those little laser pens. No wonder I'm wearing glasses. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, but um, uh, when it comes down to it, uh, you, I don't know if the snipers are good. You'd probably have more knowledge than on me. I just know that first use, I for, definitely don't like them. Yeah, for this season, to be honest with the snipers, they're not as good as they used to be in the past chapters. I'm sure they'll bring back the snipers sooner or later because there's always a crossover between chapters. Obviously, since we're back in the, I want to say the first chapter, but it just redone. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and say it will come back sooner or later. This season is at least past the halfway point. So I believe the new season starts in March, around spring break time. Mm -hmm. So we will definitely be seeing also the next season uh, in our uh, tournament and league matches for this semester. Awesome, cool. Yeah, so uh, definitely uh, the the weapons, uh, I know they change quite frequently with every season, right? I know uh, they used to have something called the Primal Shotgun. You sh that was one of my favorites to use just because of how crazy it was. I know you don't necessarily <laughs> with the way you Why work. are you doing this to me? I, <laughs> I feel like this is a targeted thing. I did not like that. Yeah. So, all righty, uh, I think what we're going to go ahead uh, and do here uh, is we are going to go ahead uh, and not only plop our YouTube into the chat. Of course, we have recently started a YouTube channel. We would love if all of our viewers went and go ahead uh, and subscribe to it. There it is. And what we are going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and play our Kovacs ad real quick while we may wait for all of these people to go ahead and join the lobby. Kovacs is what a lot of our FPS players like to use. It's just aim training, and it, uh, it's obviously shown uh, some improvement with our players. So we're going to go ahead and play that. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. There's only 26 people. <laughs> all righty. Well, all righty. Did not expect that one. But uh, I believe we are now getting into the game as we can. Obviously, there's uh, only just about 26 people. It's duos. Knock that in half. Let's go. <laughs> as what we were talking about earlier, we were talking about, you know, uh, you know, if not many people decided that they want to join, they can, you know, you know, kind of just the whole feel free. Yeah. Uh, again, you did mention that it was just all online. So whoever wanted to join, wanted to join. So uh, only 26 people in this lobby, very uh, small and short lobby. But then there probably chances won't be of uh, much happening until maybe later in the game. But that's usually where all the fun begins. So uh, it, uh, I do believe that they are. This is not Rocky, actually. Oh, it is Rocky Reels. That's right. <laughs> For some reason. Oh, it looks like someone is trouble, landing but nearby, but it looks like it's a solo at the moment. Yeah, are you? Do you think people are allowed to go ahead and solo themselves in tournaments? Uh, to be honest, I have two theories. One, he was able to solo and his partner couldn't show up, and they allowed it. Or two, uh, they may have had someone just you know join s to set up the game mm -hmm. because they might not have their own custom key full yet. So someone may be just hosting it, and this may just be a bot that's just going to be a free kill. Okay, sure. Yeah, uh, I definitely. Well, if it's a bot for the free kill, I want to go for the bot. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> yeah, honest, definitely, definitely. I mean, that's free points right there. Yeah, but it does seem like we're gonna go ahead and see the usual. We're gonna go ahead uh, and see them farming for mats, seeing them try and uh, find better gear, of course. 
Uh, I do like that slide mechanic, by the way. I definitely know that's a. Uh, is that a? Is that a Spider Man? Yes, it is. That is Tom Holland. He has ha- now. He has a bounty set on him. Mm-hmm. This ought to be a good fight. Yeah, I'm definitely interested. To we're, see. we're hunting oh. down the Avengers. <laughs> it's back to one of those what if situations. The what if situations. Yes. Yeah. Uh, usually, uh, when it comes to uh, characters in Fortnite, it's very funny because there's just scenarios that just out of context make absolutely weird sense. Like, hey, yeah, we uh, we got into a fight with Tom Holland today. <laughs> Um, anyways, uh, only green gear so far, uh, as we can only see, you know, Jackie Moon's uh, perspective, but only green gear. I do, uh, or as I was going to say, I do like that new slide mechanic that they uh, recently implemented. Um, kind of one of my favorite mechanics. I wonder if you're able to, you know, dodge bullets, all that fun stuff. Uh, I, would you know anything about that? About dodging bullets? What about dodging bullets? Can you slide out of the way of bullets if people miss? Uh, I mean, they can still hit you while you're sliding, but yeah, you can slide, and the bullets will still hit you. It's not going to stop right. you from sliding, but yeah. All right here we go once again. Uh, Luke's the trailer. Luke, uh, yeah, Luke. <laughs> Luke Tyson's trailer. Uh, is he going to give us anything good? Uh, no, not really. Thanks a lot. He, he's been he's been he's been stacking up on a lot of loot though. Not not any good things though. <laughs> yeah. So Luke, you need to get some better equipment, bud. <laughs> uh, yeah, as usual. Uh, see how Gomez there can't really find any. Uh, what is it called? Any uh, shield potions? Uh, usually, we're already down to the top twelve uh, teams here, so I believe we're I, already I, earning points. Is that correct? Yeah, I just saw someone. Uh, apparently, there's a phase member here. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's a phase Yazi. Is that really a phase member? Uh, probably not. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I do remember uh, the good old Xbox days where people would put like phase in front of their names, and you'd be like, "Oh man, so cool, phase clan." <laughs> Of course, I grew up with uh, more or less the Team Liquid side of things and never FaZe Clan. So I knew that FaZe Clan was uh, uh, Call of Duty. What? Who? Team Liquid. Who? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, hey, it's no. Hector the Duck. It's what? Hector the Duck. Remember the little rubber ducky that was on the desk? We called oh, yeah, him Hector. We named he- oh, yeah, we did name him Hector. I totally forgot about that. I, yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you remembered that. that. That is such a specific thing to remember. <laughs> like, I remember them getting placed, like, 15th, 12th, 10th, and all that. Uh, I don't remember Hector the Duck. <laughs> but, as usual, uh, still in a rocky reels, of course. I believe it's just waiting, of course. I mean, there's not much you can do now. You just so, wait yeah, for those final So far, circles. only, I want to say, maybe four or five people have been eliminated. Right. Uh, this is going to be a very, uh, not a slow, well, slow-paced game, yeah. Probably for us, since we land at Rocky Reels, and not a whole lot of people will land at Rocky Reels. Most likely, I feel like more people are going to Tilted Towers mm-hmm. still, or maybe Retail. But to be honest, well, we probably won't see a whole lot of action until later into the game. Sure, yeah. It's usually when we get to that, that small final circle that usually just, uh, what's it called? It starts moving, doesn't really change uh, its pace. But I do know that it slowly gets smaller the more... Um, we get to that uh, segment, of course. So, uh, what I am waiting for is I'm waiting to see if we're actually going to accident. I mean, there's not again, there's not many people. But what I'm waiting for is to see if we're going to accidentally, you know, make contact uh, with an enemy team. Um, again, as usual, they usually try and play safe, and then those final uh, few circles, they try and fight uh, their way through. Of course, uh, what I am hoping for is I'm ho- hopefully, you know, Gomez the third doesn't go down so early. That usually happens due to. Uh, just a team managed to get like uh, kind of an advantage there, and then uh, Jackie Moon's usually the one uh, who uh, is the last one standing. So hopefully uh, Gomez the third might be able to uh, support, or they'll be able to support each other just a little bit better. Usually it always happens because they get dis- they separated at some situation, and then mm-hmm. it's always like right then and there where someone comes in, swoops, and takes one of them out. Did he just grab the gas holster? Yes. And, <laughs> can you? Do you actually have to like? Pull a car up and actually fill it with gas. Yep. Why? <laughs> that is such an interesting mechanic. Like, is that to the point to where, like, can they wh- – what if – do they just have to sit there and hold it? Yep. Why is that a mechanic? It, it, it's something funny. I was actually playing a game a couple of days ago, and I was actually standing at the gas station uh, waiting for people to come by. And oh, so it did does come seem by. we're going to have a team here uh, slowly jump out. 25 Ooh, I saw already, a 25 headshot right there. Yeah, 25 already over uh, to, uh, as you can see, the enemy here. So, ooh, they're ooh, not really one has no shield. Much. No shield, but you got to also watch out for the other teammate that's coming in from above the gas station. The one behind that bush, he's going to get stuck right there. Ooh, 20 shield being taken away from Jackie he Moon. He was here. able Go to get inside, third. but most likely he's not going to have any health. We already know Jackie Moon's going to push for him, and he looks like he's using splashes, but I'm pretty sure he's not going to have any shields in there. So he will be most likely uh, on white health, but it looks like he is using a 
Chug, I believe, uh, I can't remember what it's called, uh, Chug Keg. Chug Keg, yeah. Uh, I really do hope uh, that Jackie Moon here, he's going to go ahead and hit him for 101. And a down on Muzzled Money. And it looks like Gomez is pushing the other one, but it looks like he is coming back down just to stick with his teammate. They don't want to push without each other. Smart move, smart move, especially because we don't even know how this other guy, but it looks like he is inside with no no shields. And that is Jackie Moon's wall, so he does have an advantage right there, but it looks like he did run out. It looks like he is trying to get away, most likely to that vehicle, and it looks like he might be getting away unless he doesn't make it. It looks like they popped the tires on that stop. (laughs) Right now they're going for the semi-truck, and they are eliminated. Muzzled Monkey and FaZe Yazi are down. We were talking about him earlier. uh, I'm very, really interested to see um, what the ideal kind of plan was to see there. Uh, There's some interesting driving skills that accidentally hit. Uh, Well, he was able to pop the tires, so there's actually a drag in the game. If you pop the tires on someone else's car, if they're mm-hmm. not the uh, off-road tires, it will jerk your steering to the right or left. Oh, especially wow. if okay. they're the back tires. Front tires, it really doesn't matter. It'll slow you down, but it doesn't mm-hmm. affect your steering. But if you shoot one of the back ones, it will make your car turn and it will be harder to drive. Okay, I got you. Yeah, you know, it was very well played then. Uh, mm-hmm. Obviously, we already have two kills and uh, there's only 21 people remaining and I believe uh, I can't uh, tell with the placements, of course. Uh, again, uh, I don't study math for a living. Uh, and if you do, uh, 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 to be God honest, it, it's all good. <laughs> uh, I mean, th- there's at least, I want to say, somewhere around maybe 10, 11 teams left. I mean, with 21, it could be anything, but there might be a bunch of solos. So, uh, so we're sitting 10, at about 10 10th at a minimum. Place. 10 at a minimum. Yeah. Okay, I got you. All righty. Yeah, and that, that's at least what it could be. But uh, Max, it could still be more considering all, there could be a lot of solos out there. It looks oh, like another team is pushing on them. Team. But let's see how, where this will go Bush for Strat, us. Bush Strat. <laughs> There we go. They might actually try and walk away here, of course. I believe they're actually getting Ooh. shot at. Ooh, already going to go ahead and go down to uh, zero uh, shield, but he's going to instantly go ahead and go right back up to 50 using Gomez uh, going for bases. height right now, but it looks like both team, both of the players are pushing height on him. Jackie Moon's obviously going to stay in the bush and use that as his Ooh, advantage. He hit him 17 hit for him. three times on shield, it looks like. Right now, they're just going to hold that cornerstone. They are in the storm, so they are going to be taking white health. They closely, do, they do. The but storm. it looks like someone is coming to the left right now on Gomez. It looks like they are both about to come out of the storm, and it looks like they are pushing up right now. 27 Ooh. on shield not a crack though but it looks like the uh, the other teammate did knock Jackie Moon down right now Right now, Jackie Moon is pushing up. Gomez is most likely going to be holding low ground, but looks like they are playing smart and sticking together. Going for one, the teammate on the low ground, trying to look for him right now. Oh, yeah. This is a little bit of a tough position here from Jackie Moon, it seems. Oh, He's and they got another. It looks like there might be a down here right here, but it looks like both teammates They're are both down together. there. Yeah. So oh, and go. there is oh, one down on Kingslayer nah. by Jackie Moon with the shotgun hit. And it looks like Gomez is down. It looks like Jackie Moon's going to be pushing him. But this is the one that was cracked earlier, so let's see how it goes. Oh, oh he's gonna go and he, I guess he 21. did get shield earlier. Jackie Moon looking pretty solid, actually, in this situation. He's going to load the gun. Let's though. go. He's be able to go ahead and take out King Slayer. There we go. Four kills. And ravioli. <laughs> that rolling can didn't get away. <laughs> Four. <laughs> he was on my way to my front doorstep. And it looks like top 10 is reached. So it looks like there are 10 teams left. Right, actually. And that was actually very uh, well played. Jackie Moon definitely. Uh, coming in clutch there, but uh, it was also very funny when they just managed to go ahead and just sit right next to each other together because they were both reloading. So uh, I agree. I love I to agree. see it. Uh, in fact, we've had some instances uh, in. Uh, I know, uh, of course, this isn't Siege, but of course, uh, in other games too, we've had instances like that where it's just awkward, and your best thing to do is just try and see who's. I remember we had fast. one yesterday. We had two yesterday. <laughs> yeah, actually. That was it was actually pretty. pretty yeah. It was really it was funny. Pretty funny, but. Um, so far, uh, this is a great start for our team. Uh, it doesn't matter really on the count, but they're holding themselves very, very well. I wish that we could see what colleges we're actually going against in these fights. It would be really cool. Maybe I could try to get a uh, list in the future, maybe, uh, if maybe for the next uh, event. For the Obviously, I think we're going to make it to the next event uh, placement-wise. I believe mm-hmm. it's uh, going to be uh, this next Saturday. It will be cool to uh, get a list, so I'm going to focus on doing that so we can figure out the colleges that we're going against in these situations sure. or who defeats us. I could probably print out a paper and do that. <laughs> For a second, you repositioned yourself. I thought you were just going to get up and leave. Me? <laughs> yeah, that's what it looked like. I was like, yeah, you're, you're probably <laughs> right. See you guys. Good luck. <laughs> no, but of course. Uh, it seems out what they're doing here is they're just gathering mats here. There's about uh, 18 players left in total. So uh, 
at most here, we're looking around. I believe that's ninth place, if my math is correct. Nine times uh, two, 18. Did two people just get eliminated? Uh, I believe Oh, well, yep, there so. goes someone got knocked. Uh, at the moment, yeah, so around right now, ninth place. Most likely, the final circle will at least have maybe five, six teams of the uh, best ones. To be honest, I'm very curious on how many will be held to the last, because usually there's always maybe like... 15 teams towards the end in right. the past tournaments we've done. And it looks like they forgot to fuel up on gas. Yeah, uh, that's uh, it's probably those gas prices. You're probably better off walking at this rate. Yeah, to be honest. Or switch to electric cars. <laughs> yeah, no, but um, what I was going to bring up here is that actually we're at four kills right now, and uh, we're already sitting at about ninth place. It's actually really good uh, points-wise for Griffin mm -hmm. Esports. So I'm very excited to see how long they can actually last in the game. By now, they are collecting placement points, too, so they're doing very, very well for their first game, especially with those last two fights. The first one, not too much of a challenge, but the second one did put up more of a battle uh, with Gomez getting knocked and uh, <laughs> Jackie Moon with that reload right there. That did right. kind of scare some of them. But the <laughs> other guy, he, he kind of gave up at that point trying to get out whenever he boxed them in. Uh, I believe, if I'm correct, there's actually uh, sounds of uh, shots going off. Uh, the, what it seemed like it was actually towards uh, their west side. So uh, you definitely uh, want to be careful uh, of mm -hmm. that. But I don't know. I've noticed that there's, like, the symbols that pop up next to them. Uh, I assume that just means what shots are being if it, Yeah, if it's, like, uh, footsteps. yeah, crack noises. Footsteps, yeah, would just be two uh, footsteps next to each other. Treasure chest, obviously a picture of treasure. Um, there are animal picks, but those really don't matter. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, uh, gunfire would be like red fire shots. Most likely, yeah, they d it looks like they did see a build up there on that top, so there could be someone up there. Wow, this is a old building from Chapter One. Is it? Yes. Oh yeah, I know this actually actually uh, looks pretty familiar from when uh. I used to play here. Uh, is this where the shark is, actually? In the, uh, here, is it, the shark pretty much can spawn anywhere, depending on the game's choice. But yes, a shark can spawn. Uh, there are sharks in the game, but usually uh, the shark usually spawns in the middle of the map at that lake. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, I haven't really seen it. I think I've seen them once and during practice time. But, uh, oh, this is also a good place for them to get uh, Max Wood. It looks like someone is near. There is a team nearby yeah, building on Yeah, that is a lot right of now. footsteps coming off here. And so going to be up to Jackie Moon to go ahead and try and get into a little bit of a better position there. I'm um, very, uh, very worried for Griffin Esports right now. As you can see, the team is actually right above them. So uh, they definitely have to watch where when they are When a team positioned. does push, that's what means their, you know, motivation's pretty, pretty high. Yeah, they're going to have to go ahead. Uh, and kind of just keep their distance here. This is what you were talking about earlier. I'm uh, looking up at the top left, watching Gomez the third's health. Uh, that is, uh, I believe, two people sticking together. Actually, there's only two. So, uh, Gomez the third. If you can go ahead and get shots off here, uh, Jackie Moon might be able to actually uh, get an angle uh, here as well. But it does seem that we have the low ground, which definitely, uh, in some situations, actually uh, not the best. Uh, to have, but they are jumping right on oh, top of Oh, and there is a crack right there. Damage. Jackie Moon lighting them up right now. Oh, and there's, there's a knock. Be able to oh, go God, it's Iron go Man. Oh, that is another crack right oh, there. And an elimination. Beautiful. Let six us kills. go. That is putting us <laughs> at six points. Jackie's crazy. I uh, love to see the support in chat coming in from Lay Den. Uh, yeah, that was awesome. Uh, they completely turned that fight around. Uh, Jackie Moon saw... Uh, from his perspect uh, perspective, what I assume was a just the perfect route. He literally jumped around, build, uh, built more upwards, and then, uh, of course, he did actually get that crack off uh, of the armor, uh, as you did mention. And mm -hmm. it was just a beautiful execution coming in from both Gomez III and Jackie Moon. I agree. Uh, it was, uh, with the way here, uh, it probably wasn't intentional, but Gomez III was probably ready as well, but Jackie Moon, or Gomez III actually became the bait there. And so uh, what I mean by that is um, they were too focused on Gomez III to pay attention to where Jackie Moon was and managed to go ahead. And it looks like there is oh, another is person. Another I believe crack? that's a, I think that's a solo, but yeah, that is a crack right there. And it looks like he is pushing up right now. Gomez like, no, oh, no, there are two people, so this is another team right now. He's got him boxed in. Oh, and that is a down. down. And there's one more left right now. I think I think Gomez got the other kill. And Must have, but there's other people shooting from afar yep. now. This is what we call, Puts uh, us like at call a third eight party, eliminations. So. Yeah, eight or uh, eight eliminations altogether for MWSU. That's a lot of points coming in, and it also uh, is to the point to where we are almost at fifth place as well. Uh, there is a solo as we were talking about, so um, he, he could be anywhere. He might goes. be pulling some bush strats. I uh, uh, trust me. 
Bush Strats. Bush Strats. <laughs> Bush Strats. But right now, I'm very happy to see my team doing so great uh, with how far they've been pushing this effort. And this is amazing uh, seeing them do this. Uh, but the high ground, this is what's going to be hard. The final circle is on a hill. Right now, they are at the low point, but there are other teams involved in this. At least five other teams. And to be honest, I don't know where they are. There could be, they could all be on the low ground with them, or they could all be pushing up high ground at once. That's what's going to make this next part interesting. If not, I'm excited to see what the next few matches are going to be. But right now, they're playing it smart. They're going right, getting out of the view of where that the other team saw them. So right now, it looks I think if the I'm other correct, team knows what they're doing, though. They could probably hear. Uh, Jackie Moon and Gomez III rotating around the mountain, it seems. But uh, but if that team is smart, knowing that they are playing this right for another college, they know not to push them. Right, right. now, it's with the fire, continuous fire, and uh, them not being able to see them, I'm going to assume that they're being uh, attacked by another team right Yeah, they're now. also giving away their position to, uh, to other teams as well. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> get them, Jackie. I do uh, love to see that. That's awesome. Uh, it definitely seems, you know, Jackie Moon is rocking seven kills right now, of course. Uh, Gomez the third. With one uh, kill. With one. And, hey, that's not a problem. It's just Jackie Moon's reaching them faster. I don't know exactly what Gomez's loadout is, but right now, as you can see, Jackie Moon is running a close corner uh, setup right now. Mm -hmm. That's why they're pushing up close. That's why they're not playing distance. It's awesome to see this. Uh, and there those really are the two best guns to go. Here. Yep, and here they he can't see the, the footsteps. footsteps. He hears the footsteps, so, so here we go. We might actually see a third party coming in here uh, from MWSU. Uh, they are trying to tr uh, trying to get uh, some information out here. It seems that they're, nobody's really oh, shooting Oh, and the person from above. above. So it looks like there are two teams. Right now they are going to be getting pushed by more than just one team. Right now there are three on this, including the one probably from the hill, unless they just came down. But, hey, they're playing smart. They're bridging out, and they're going down to low. I don't know what Gomez is doing yet, but it looks like he is trying to move down. But it looks like they're trying to get sights on the team below them, which is also a very good move. You're right. And, you know, as we were talking about earlier, hopefully uh, Jackie Moon and Gomez don't exactly – um, don't exactly. Ooh, and a quick edit right there, but it looks like Jackie Moon is pushing oh, wow. on that links right there. Gomez holding the other side on Jackie Moon right. just to be safe, but he needs to watch his back from that other team. There are people moving down there. It looks like the team that was below them is moving more to the left to get out of the way. There's also a team above them, perhaps, maybe? Yep. No, there is a team, actually, as we saw there. There's movement over there. Uh, you definitely want to uh, don't want to contest that, but you also want to position yourself uh, perfectly here. Uh, as we can see, Jackie Moon almost made contact uh, with uh, some of the other uh, duos here. Hopefully, uh, as we were talking about earlier, though, uh, hopefully Jackie Moon and Gomez don't get and It looks like people are swinging in with uh, Spider-Man weapons or the Spider-Man web slingers right now. This is probably another team. This is about to be an all-out war here in just a second with the remaining teams because there's not been an elimination in a while. Just until now with someone with the great fall, most likely the Spider-Man gloves. Those things are hard to use. If you use them wrong, you will take fall damage. Yeah, look at this. Uh, Jackie Moon is playing uh, somewhat of a risky play here. I believe that the ring is actually doing uh, just about eight damage uh, per tick. So uh, every second you're going to take eight damage. You definitely got to watch out. Uh, for that circle. And it looks like oh, there is someone still above them, but they're pushing over to this. That was a good slide move right there. Did take a little bit of damage, but hey, he played that very wisely and smoothly. I'm very worried to see where Gomez the third actually managed to go ahead and went. Probably right behind him, uh, I hope. <laughs> yep. Yeah, as we saw uh, from the left side here, but they are giving other people But it looks like Gomez did regroup with them too, so right now they're doing very, very good. Right, still 11 people left. Uh, this is definitely where we start to see, you know, uh, definitely the people who have... Uh, solidified uh, scales definitely uh, to their advantage. So uh, as you can see, uh, there are about like uh, two teams up at the top, but then uh, you understand that all around them on the lower levels, uh, there are other, uh, like the rest of the teams. Uh, that's what I meant. So uh, with about eight kills here, there's probably also another team that also has eight kills. Uh, just assuming that, of course, but uh, maybe not. Maybe we're actually rocking all the points here. Uh, even if uh, this does manage uh, not to become a victory royale, of course. But uh, that's an interesting angle I'm seeing there. That's definitely a high ground angle. But as we can see, we, we already finally made it hit to the top, top five. five with the solo still around there. I wonder where he's at. He's playing. He's surviving like a boss right now. Whoever that solo is, right? It, as you can see, there's also a team uh, managing to go ahead and hop down here. This is actually a good positioning as we can see mm -hmm. from the top right of the mini map. Uh, Gomez is the third, and Jackie Moon managing to go ahead. Uh, and keep themselves alive here. But look at this amazing high ground move coming in from Jackie Moon. He is going to manage to go ahead uh, and find Ooh, a Oh, and a crack right there with the 105 hit. 
Looks like they are holding high ground. There was a couple hits right there on 17, but the person below him right now is cracked. They're just holding high ground, making sure they stay that way. They want to move over to that hill to keep them safe. That's what everyone else is this doing. This is a terrifying move coming in from Jackie Moon here. If any of his builds managed to go ahead and get destroyed, and now they are connected. Fall. They will not fall now because there is now two connections. They would have to break both sides to break that. But right now they're playing smart. I think Gomez is falling right behind him, which he is. They are playing the high ground. They are moving out of the storm up the hill. This is where teams are going to have trouble because builds are going to be broken. They're going to slide back down the hill, and they are moving in. Oh, the man, spider webs see, is what's keeping that, most of the teams here. alive. And right now they are doing great. They are staying at the highest ground. They need to watch their back, though, because those people with the web slingers can easily jump up there with them, but most likely they won't. They'll probably stay in the back for a while. Right now, we are still sitting at nine kills, no eliminations. Everyone was playing it safe till the next circle. The next one's going to be the hardest, so we expect to see some eliminations right here. Right now, both our teams... Oh, somebody is trying to go ahead and run up behind them, but I don't believe he's going to be able to make it. He's going to have to go ahead and box himself in. But there are people now above Jackie Moon here. Uh, definitely in a, uh, more of a tough positioning here now that there's teams above Gomez them. Gomez did take a little bit of damage, too. Right. And, uh, not much, though, but uh, definitely uh, you definitely want to try and go ahead and get that back up uh, mm -hmm. with the way it was. Here we go. They are seeming to go ahead and move in here. Unfortunately, Jackie Moon can't seem to find a shot. He is going to be able to go uh, go back down to uh, zero shields as well. That is a lot of uh, a lot of damage that he's taking. Ooh. Unfortunately, uh, Jackie Moon is going to be taken down here. But they will. Uh, so will Gomez the third. But they are going to go ahead and have just about eight kills, uh, if I am correct yep. about that. Uh, only eight kills, uh, and they are going to go ahead and place fourth place. So it does seem that they're spectating the team. I guess they're curious to know who's going to win. But very well played uh, coming in from Griffin Esports. Probably one of their better runs, if Definitely. I do say so myself. But there are less people in this game, of course. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm very curious to know if there's going to be uh, more people. Uh, yeah, more people in the next game. Oh, or uh, if there's going to be the exact same amount of teams. So I'm very uh, excited to see what the next three games are going to be like. So, Griffins, we're going to go ahead and take a short break here. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
All righty, welcome back, Griffins. If you're just now joining us, I'm Scorch Darren, also known as Darren Brinks, and right next to me, Cody Doc McLaughlin. Cody, what an amazing game we just had, right? Yeah, we play. We managed to go ahead and place, uh, I believe, fourth, and had a total of eight kills. So that's definitely, uh, definitely a lot of points we've managed. To oh go ahead yeah, and rack definitely. Up there. Uh, I've been looking, trying to figure out what the points were for that. Obviously, I'll do it uh, in between games. I'm going to try to pull up a list of the people that we do uh, go ahead ahead against. Uh, there are two different ones. I believe we're in the West servers compared to the East. East. Uh, I'm not sure the huge difference in player wise for what they are, but mm-hmm. I mean, uh, it's still awesome to see. Uh, the first game go like that. Uh, I'm hoping this one we could see a solid win, maybe, because mm-hmm. anything could happen. But again, definitely an amazing run for yes. the team. Yeah, as we can see, we do see a team going over uh, towards almost near uh, the gas station, I believe, having in the way of uh, the the Dwayne the Rock Johnson statue. <laughs> uh, it seems what's going to happen here. Going to go ahead and grab the bounty, seeing where uh, that uh, apparently Mr. Buns four eight four four is. <laughs> But they are going to go ahead and drop Rocky Reels uh, once again. It's a pretty so. feisty llama. A feisty llama. That was a feisty llama there. All right. Um, so uh, what I'm really excited for, actually, the more we get into this game, as we saw, that was a pretty fast game. And this, the mo- more and more just kept happening, and we definitely uh, managed to play those well. Uh, we are already in the top 12, uh, so that's obviously that has got to be some points there, if I'm correct. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it does seem like a, it's a little bit of a small tournament, of course, but we do uh, like to uh, we do like to go ahead uh, and see small tournaments. Those have to be appreciated as well. So, uh, well, at least uh, on these servers. So, uh, what we are, uh, again, uh, I'll repeat myself. What we do you see is we, again, usually see it slow. They are going to go ahead and just try and find these gear. Uh, what I'm really learning out here is that Rocky Reels uh, is definitely a good place to go ahead and drop. Uh, not... A lot of people seem to drop here, which uh, kind of confuses me considering, you know, uh, as I've seen here, they've managed to go ahead um, and get nothing but, uh, uh, so, well, I mean, as of right now, the loot's not very good considering we have gray uh, and green items. But uh, usually if you look in the right places, you'll soon uh, pick up, you know, just green or blue items. So, uh, again, very, uh, very interesting why uh, many people don't drop near Rocky Reels. Uh, what I am curious to know is we can see on the top right of the screen, we can see the map. Uh, we can see uh, where their bounty is located. Uh, I'm very curious to know if that bounty is moving on over towards Rocky Reels or moving away. Uh, usually, uh, as uh, per usual, uh, we do have to destroy Luke's trailer. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, sometimes curious. good loot, maybe some meds. Uh, green blue striker, sniper. blue uh, sniper, but most likely going to pass that up. They are probably going to stick with what they got last time, to be honest. Usually Jack and Moon setup, I guess, from the last game was between a striker shotgun and the SMG. Mm-hmm. Uh, most likely that assault rifle won't hold on too long uh, if he finds half pots or splashes. I feel like they'll stick definitely what they did last time, at least loadout-wise, because, I mean, the loadout worked very well for Jack and Moon. Uh, I'm assuming Gomez is running the uh, same thing on mm-hmm. his loadout too. I see he's running with a striker also. Uh, but it, for both of them, it worked very, very well. Oh, they're shooting uh, what seems to be on the northwest side, if I do believe if that's on the opposite side. Uh, northeast side, uh, apologies. Uh, but it does seem they are going to go ahead and move away from it. At least that's what I saw uh, on the... At the uh, moment, the symbols that pop around them, yeah. So. At the moment, it is kind of foggy, so it is hard to tell. They won't be seeing anyone coming nearby, but they just got to keep an eye out for footsteps and also just probably any sounds the best they can. Right, and so uh, as we can see here, we're moving just a little bit faster here. We do see uh, that they do have all their support items with their shields. Uh, definitely curious to know if they're going to have uh, a great run uh, like last game. I'm definitely hoping for it. Uh, they were definitely inching closer and closer. Uh, just unfortunately, they managed to go ahead and get caught under a lot of the builds, so they weren't uh, necessarily able to uh, necessarily able to come back from it, of course. But they are going to go ahead. Uh, I told, uh, remind me of the uh, item name on uh, the two key, the one where you set it down. It's kind of like a fountain. Uh, I believe a uh, spray keg. Chug keg? Chug keg. Yeah. yeah, you throw it out, and it gives you uh, all the heals. It does destroy itself after some time. You can also destroy it to prevent other players from getting it. Mm-hmm. 
But it does a widespread, so if, like, someone's on the opposite side of a wall and it's still spreading over there, they can get heals, Ooh, too. You know what I just realized? There, it seems that they're actually moving towards the bounty, actually. I they're do not know what's happening right there. I think he got stuck for a second. <laughs> he probably did. But, but anyway, right. yeah, you are right. To be honest, you don't see a whole lot of uh, very highly skilled players running skins like that. So most likely, this may be another uh, easy win here. Not jinxing it, but mm -hmm. uh, this skin that, that uh, Mr. Bun is running is a very bulky skin, especially the head being very tall. Right. Do you uh, think that's why you, you so is there really a difference in hitboxes when it comes to this game? Like they say no, but to be honest, it's not really hitboxes you need to worry about. It's the majority of your field of view. If mm -hmm. your skin's huge, obviously it's going to take some part up. It's going to bother whenever you're aiming down sights and everything because you're not going to be able to see well through it. That's why they wear very thin skins. That's why Jackie Moon runs with this one. Uh, Gomez, I'm not sure. His skin's not very big and bulky either, but that's why you don't see a whole lot of people running Thanos. You don't see a whole lot of people running Venom. Uh, there's another llama outfit that's extremely huge too. This one's pretty big too because it's a giant muscular llama. Uh, they are on you know, the I'm enemy right now. Most likely here. they're hiding below. Yeah, I'm very curious to know here uh, what's happening. They are right above their bounty, but it does seem the bounty's going to run out in about a minute. They are trying to, uh, what seems to be, uh, they are right now uh, going on somewhat of a little bit of a hunt here. <laughs> I'm very interested to know. They're probably, in, I want to say, Man are they cake. inside? Uh, what do you say? That's Pancake. <laughs> Walking Flapjacks, one of the right. best bounty hunters there are. Uh, yeah, no, uh, there's no sign there of it is. the enemy, but right yeah, down no, there. That's what you were talking about. They do seem to be below, but you got to watch out here uh, with how this is going to go ahead and go. He is going to go ahead and drop down. As we can see, we are making contact uh, with. Uh, the enemy, I would say, yeah, they are going to go ahead and walk in. And, and down, and down but here comes the other one. And there's the llama bulky skin. Wow, that was a uh, big bulky skin, actually. Yeah. I didn't imagine it to be that huge. But there we go. Two kills on the side of Missouri Western State University. Uh, I honestly would have tried and made a push forward towards uh, Missouri Western just to try and apply a little bit of pressure because they seem to put themselves uh, in an interesting uh, position there. Uh, we are going to go ahead and take... Uh, the uh, red peppers, of course. Trying and if to I'm correct, that boost. was the University of Providence, actually. We just <laughs> went against. Look that up. Yes, I did. <laughs> I have the list of the people right here. I'm very curious on who we go against. Obviously, we know against the teams that we do oh, for man, that uh, is all these other ones, so why not for this? Right there. Look at that. They managed to find the MK7 assault rifle, uh, the gold uh, rarity as well, legendary. So uh, definitely. Uh, Jackie Moon is going to go ahead and pick that up and run away with it. So uh, that's actually a pretty good find. I do say so myself. That mm -hmm. actually might. Uh, that actually might make a difference in these uh, extra fights here. Yeah, so uh, also looking at the chat, uh, Luke Tice, uh, according to the world of Fortnite lore that we've made up, uh, that's his trailer uh, in Rocky Reels that they destroy every time, and we usually judge the uh, the items that drop from it simply because uh, our players have no interest in it or they just aren't good enough. We so, will be uh, releasing the number of how many times they have destroyed Luke's trailer <laughs> uh, at the end of the yeah. semester. Right now, we cannot share what they are at. Uh, we can share what they do every other game after, uh, for the next stream. But last stream, the total of destructions from the previous one and the last one were nine times. Yeah, so uh, add plus two to that, and that's uh, what we're... We're chilling at, mm -hmm. I assume. So that's going to definitely change. I'll be <laughs> the releasing movies. the number at the end of the semester. I'm keeping track of how many times we destroy it. Oh, was there actually somebody at the bottom left there? Or am I? I'm probably going crazy. It may uh, have been a bird if it, you saw. I think it was actually up. the crosshair uh, or the reticule, however you want to call it, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, the crosshair that I saw moving as he's jumping. As you can see, it gets more of a widespread. So. Uh, what uh, what they're doing here is actually, I think they're actually going to more or less rotate over towards, uh, from Rocky Rails, they're going to go ahead and move over uh, towards Tilted. We are sitting at around, uh, again, two kills uh, for the side of Missouri Western, one to one on each uh, of our players. So uh, we're definitely sitting pretty steady again. Uh, hopefully they're able to go ahead and grab more kills here. Uh, if I am correct, there might be uh, movement that I might have saw. They definitely know uh, where someone might uh, be. They're looking around uh, around. The oh, storm. and there is someone straight ahead. I saw someone flying in. Most likely they were coming out of the storm. Uh, they are going to be straight ahead, but I don't think they saw Gomez or Jackie Moon uh, coming good. in so, from the left. There we go. So they will see. be up around this hill somewhere. You think that hurts their legs? When what? they slide, like it definitely seems like they do a lot of damage when sliding. Did it hurt your legs when you slid on that turf last last year? <laughs> wow, I can't believe you remember the esports barbecue. 
Yeah, I did. There's a giant scar on my leg, and <laughs> a lot happened with. You gonna do that again this year? No, <laughs> I collect a scar every single year. <laughs> no, but um, uh, as we can see here, there was uh, shooting actually heard by our players uh, up uh, in the northwest. Side, the so. Guac zero zero. I thought that was funny. I uh, to be honest, actually, I think uh, that sign that they eliminated the Guac. Uh, that means they were the winners from last game. Oh wow! Yeah. So they may have been eliminated, and Faze Yazi, someone we eliminated last game too. Yeah, uh, he actually picked up the golden crown. So uh, very interested to see where that's going to go ahead and go. Uh, We are going to go ahead and take over this build here. Very interested. Oh, that's launch pad. Is a launch pad? Yeah. Uh, As uh, of course, uh, is they're fighting down over near the lake. I do believe. Here we go. Yep, they're going to land in the bush. There goes a bird with purple drops on it. What was it? It looked like a shotgun. I think it was a heavy. Yeah, they don't like go. heavy. Jackie Moon and Gomez are going to be able to go ahead and take over this build. I definitely would say land high ground here. You definitely don't know if there's people in those builds below, and taking that high ground uh, could be uh, of help, of course. Uh, I was very worried there that somebody's in this bush. Uh, it seems that they went ahead and checked the bushes, of course. It seems that what they want to do here is actually might actually uh, climb up the uh, mountain, of course, uh, and check and see if... Or and check and see if they can go ahead and take over this high ground. Of course, uh, when it came down to it, actually, Jackie Boone was playing uh, a very good game uh, when it came to uh, when it came to you know putting himself above people. But of course, the two teams managed to go ahead and uh, uh, get above him, which uh, put them in quite the uh, rough situation. As we can see, we can see somebody uh, <laughs> parachuting through. I love that glider. What is it? <laughs> the Juice World's uh, roller coaster ride. Uh, okay. It's literally a roller coaster with a giant open mouth on it and, oh, like, nice. screaming. <laughs> okay. That's definitely interesting. As we can see, we're already down to about ninth place. It seems like Gomez needs some ammo, so uh, Jackie Moon's going to be able to go ahead and drop him some. we will have to pay for it later. Yeah, we'll just put it on his tab. Put it on the tab. <laughs> uh, there is uh, seem to be uh, gunshots coming in from the southwest side, uh, so you definitely want to watch out. Uh, when we played, actually, this is where we actually uh, ended up. Uh, fighting. Here we go. He's a free jump pad just sitting there. Uh, hopefully that wasn't bait or anything like that. Uh, he is going to. Oh, no, no. Oh, that, launch wow. pad, that launch pad's always going to be there. It, it's a thing that's added in there. It's one of like the government uh, that's in this launch pad. So it's automatically put there. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. no, no, no. They do look different. Like you can see what the one in the bo- uh, the right does, right under his G key looks like. And then compared to that one, that one's more like decked out with the skin. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Uh, it seems that, uh, I believe that's a Loot Lake, correct? Uh, I believe so, yes. All right, and so uh, what we definitely, I don't, I don't know, I'm definitely not a fan of Loot Lake. Uh, there might be people, by the way, as uh, Gomez is Is it because of the there. shark? What? No, it's just bad memories. A lot of bad memories. Uh, and it looks like someone is at Cuddle Camp fighting. Cuddle Camp. Yeah, we landed here, remember? That's right, we did land. <laughs> Sorry, it just... The name humors me, of course. Uh, as it looks like, see. I don't know, I thought they were chasing oh, each other. back, actually. Yeah, I thought that was a, another team there, but uh, it definitely seemed to, that's a duo right there. So, mm-hmm. And it uh, looks like there is someone also to their left. They need to be careful on how they peek because they can get hit pretty hard here if they peek the wrong time. Oh, it looks like that is a hit for 21, headshot. yeah. All righty. Yeah, no, they just definitely, uh, hopefully their builds don't get destroyed here. But again, a sniper would definitely work out here. You know, grabbing maybe that extra weapon instead of an assault rifle or the SMG would definitely work. And another hit on 21. It looks like the other one's slowly making it up. It looks like they are building another hit there on is, 21. Uh, either that's Gomez's sound, or there is another team shooting. I think there is another 21. team there because those we didn't crack them at all. So I guess they're, they are being attacked from another team. Right now, uh, my guess would be the best time to jump in on that. But I don't know if he will be doing it. He may be breaking it down to set up a launch pad, which he is. And they're going to go ahead and fly in and third party this fight. They got to be careful, though, because if another team comes in, it might get dangerous. But hey, you know what? We're doing pretty good on points right now. So let's see how they do. Right. Here we go. Uh, hopefully they don't get split up as usual. Again, that's what we were talking about. That's usually a mistake that they make. But they're looking really solid right now. Here we go. We might actually see another fight. There is somebody right behind Jackie Moon. He's able to go ahead and escape, though. Great building uh, Great building plans to go ahead and get away there. But, nah, no, here's that other team shooting him from the other mountain. They probably should have just stayed up at that mountain. But I guess some other team was running up uh, right behind them. So here we go. Can Jackie Moon get in? Ooh, he does. It looks he like does he is getting hit from another team. Four teams are right now on this fight taking damage. Ooh, took 20 but damage I think there. he's okay with it right now. He's 
he's just trying to get out of there. I guess him and Gomez need to uh, regroup because I think Gomez also took fall damage right now. Gomez is moving on to him right now. They have splashes. They have minis. And I believe Gomez also has a chug keg. But right now, they are being attacked from multiple groups because right now, they did move away. So everyone's probably going to take uh, notice that they probably are the weaker ones. Yeah, Jackie ones. Moon's in a little bit of a tough situation here, actually. I believe Jackie Moon. They need to build out of this uh, to get away from them right now. But they are having a hard time doing that because Gomez this is, is also where trying I would to get try. to Oh, oh and here's attack from Gomez. Here, Oh, no. Instead, Gomez actually decided to go ahead. All right. Gomez didn't decide. <laughs> Gomez accidentally. They uh, are went chasing down, down Jackie Moon right now. And right now, he this is. This is where to I would away. try and find that space, and I would definitely try and use those splashes. I mean, you definitely want to try and get away here. He's only going to be able to go ahead and get about. Oh, no. He's going to go ahead and get about 56 shield here. Uh, it seems like Gomez was. Uh, what is it? Thirst killed uh, as well. So uh, for those extra points, uh, as you know, respectfully mm -hmm. uh, understanding here as well. But here we go. Jackie Moon now up to 100 shield and back to 100 health. He's definitely back in this game. Uh, hopefully he is able to go ahead and keep himself uh, covered as well. So uh, Jackie Moon is planning. I don't believe he's going to actually have enough time to go ahead and grab that card there, uh, knowing how small uh, that circle is getting, of course. But uh, hopefully Jackie Moon's got this uh, or got a plan up his sleeve to go ahead and make it out here. There are about three teams fighting right now, and he definitely doesn't want to get caught in the mix of it. So, uh, yeah, going on uh, from there, he does hear people uh, around to his right, it seems. Now they're right in front of him. Uh, but he might be waiting for one of them to get split up from each other, uh, quite possibly. It's either that uh, or he could be waiting for them to leave and he can grab uh, Gomez's card. Not a bad move, but he does need to be careful. It looks like they did stop moving. Right now they are Ooh, shooting they are an attack shooting at someone, someone else. But he's looking for a chance to reboot Van to get back to there. So he's probably going to go ahead and reboot Jackie, uh, or not Jackie, but Gomez if he can, considering there is less than 200 seconds left on his card. Not a big rush. But he's got a minute and 11 to get the card and get out of there before the circle does close on him. Right. Here we go. He's trying to look around, trying to see if he can get any information uh, on uh, around his teammate there. He is going to go ahead and slowly move around here. Did he give himself away? No, it does seem like there's about three people fighting as well. He's going to see if he can actually, uh, what I believe he might actually try uh, in third party as well. Uh, did he run out of the golden... Uh, Scar seems. Oh, he is going to be managed to actually try and get in here and try and get that extra kill as well. But here we go. As we can see, there's somebody up to his right. Uh, he's definitely put himself uh, in this fight once again. He's definitely got to be careful there. He's going to go ahead and pick up the card. Uh, there is a gold shotgun, but it does not seem like he is going to be able to go ahead uh, and pick that up. He is going to manage to go ahead and just walk away here. He does there have is a van SMG. to his, I believe, it, right behind him. He could launch over there and start rebooting. But, uh, I mean, that's really up to his choice. Oh, but it does seem that there's a team on him for that. Honestly, I would try and stay in the fight and just try um, and, st uh, and try this third party. I'm not going to lie. I mean, that seems what, uh, seems to be. I don't know who's exactly on that van. He is going to manage to go ahead and find someone, but he's not going to be able to make a well of a connection. He's only going to be able to do about 44 to his uh, the enemy shield there. Uh and the circle looked like it is closing. He has a minute and seven to come up with a plan, to be honest. They know where he's at. They're just looking for him right now. But with him moving, he's got to think of something else to do. Right now, it Could looks like he, he is trying pad, to get away. Uh, yeah, no, he's probably probably uh, going to try. Uh, honestly, I'd probably jump pad out of here. Uh, that seems like the best ability. But he is going to get lasered from behind, unfortunately. He's going to be able to or he's going to get picked off and he is going to be able to or uh, MWSU is going to place ninth place so they're definitely going to have to wait uh, for this kid to be over before they get to the next one but a very well played run having two kills and placing ninth so uh, definitely very well played I guess that's uh, <laughs> that's uh, Juice World Roller Coaster yeah, yeah. that was uh, what you were talking about earlier so uh, I guess I suppose on that note we're going to go ahead and be right back don't go anywhere Griffs
All right, what are you doing? Continue. All righty, welcome back, Griffins. My name is Scorch Darren, also known as Darren Brinkson. Right next to me, Cody Doc McLaughlin. Great to be here again. <laughs> Cody, we just took a short break, and we had um, quite, uh, I wouldn't say unfortunate, but we had quite the uh, fast game last game, I would say. We placed ninth place. Uh, not too bad, though. We did have about two kills each, and now we're getting into our third game here. Uh, in the Fortnite NACE Collegiate Series. So uh, we're definitely having a strong start, too. Uh, I don't know if you're able to know what place we're in. Uh, if you At the moment, they are behind yep. on points. They did have it on the uh, Google Sheet that I have with all the teams and stuff listed, but they have not updated it fully. I think they're uh, going to probably wait. They do have some points, but not fully all the points. Mm, okay, I got you. Ooh, already a purple shotgun. Uh, already managed to go ahead and find the loot crow. I agree, I agree. Why are you still sitting like that? <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of scaring me. Like, you were just staring at me. I'm like, what is he going to do? Uh, anyways, uh, as usual, they dropped uh, Jackie Moon and Gilbert as the third dropped at Rocky Reels. And they are going to go ahead. Uh, that, that is a very cute-looking llama there. If you dance from the vending machine dance. The vending machine dance? Yeah, if you dance with it. Why is this not more of a popular I'm, I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> you can dance for it. I don't know what it does, though. I think it sings. <laughs> you could dance for the vending machine. I don't know what it'll do. You just you do it. Well, there's a challenge that I saw that I've never done that it says go and dance for the vending machine. <laughs> okay. That's definitely interesting. Uh, let's see. Not much really happened. Is they, they did go ahead and grab uh, grab the bounty. Uh, of course, getting that good information that they uh, like to have knowing where uh, a team is. So uh, uh, I want to say... Uh, I'm hoping this game will, of course, uh, will be in the top five, uh, at least, I do want to say, because I know that, uh, unfortunately, Gomez uh, the third uh, went down. I believe the last mistake, if I am correct, uh, when it came to it, uh, they shouldn't have really, they jump padded uh, onto the enemy team, which three more teams decided to go ahead and jump into the fight, so it probably um, 
Probably wasn't a smart idea to go ahead and jump pad uh, into a fight like that, but of course they didn't know. Uh, but I assume what they had to do is they had to go ahead and leave so, uh, due to another team being there. So, According to the last update on points, right now mm-hmm. Missouri Western is currently in fourth place out of 20 teams. Oh, wow. All righty. So actually we're doing pretty well. Yep. Uh, here's another point uh, for destroying Luke's trailer. Uh, he, Luke's trailer didn't drop anything, so nope. um, apparently Luke is very unhappy right now. So, <laughs> hey, it's it's okay. Do you know that trailers cost? Uh, at some points, trailers and RVs cost more than an actual home. Why would that be? I could not tell you, but uh, that's what it said online. Can you cite your sources? <laughs> no, uh, kidding, I don't know. Wikipedia. Now I'm just sad. <laughs> Why? Because I mentioned Wikipedia? Yeah. Actually, I think Wikipedia recently became, or in the years, became an actual credible source because they went from uh, .com to being a .org uh, website. So I, I'm pretty sure Wikipedia on some uh, in, in some aspects is credible, but not all the time, of course, because it's a kind of like a creator-based website. Uh, I just realized we're talking about Wikipedia on a Fortnite stream. <laughs> I know. It's entertaining, right? I also did find out that currently we are the second team leading in eliminations. Oh, all righty. So that's good. What's uh, What are we looking at here? So we're at about, what, nine? Uh, if I'm correct, we are actually at a solid – let me look it up real quick. Back, go back to the page. Nine? <laughs> we are at a solid – Ten, we we're at ten. Yeah, highest team right now has thirteen eliminations. Oh, wow. That would right. be yeah, but yeah. Currently, we are in fourth place. These are both two matches added on placement points. We are at twenty three overall. We're at thirty three points. The next two teams are all in the forties, but we are not that far behind. All righty, sure. Mode. So uh, definitely, if we make this one a good game, we'll probably bump up there to third place if lucky. I would say. Hey, I'm just happy to be in the top five. Yeah, I know that's definitely good. Uh, as we can see, our bounty's all the way over at Tilted Tower, so we're definitely not going to be seeing a fight there uh, or a fight any, anytime soon. Uh, it seems we're actually uh, going the opposite way, heading south side uh, toward, uh, away from Rocky Reels. Uh, that's definitely different because we usually go north, but it seems like we're having a little bit of a change of pace. So I uh, always do love to see that. Here we go. Gomez the third already making um, good mileage there, uh, if I do say so. Just uh, – Already running over towards uh, the next little site here. So, uh, Cody, what do you what do you want to see this game? We've definitely had a, more of a fast paced game, uh, if I do say so myself. It's, now we're just it's, having a it's bunch a of very simple farming. answer. At least to say it's simple to do it, it's probably going to be tough. A Fortnite victory royale. Exactly. <laughs> Out of my lifetime, I've seen my team. We've gotten a few, but to see one today, I th- I think the first time I saw actually. Uh, I believe it would have been uh, a trios tournament, I think, with yep. Jackie Moon playing in it too. And I believe. Uh, Jackie Moon, I believe an old player named our Hector. Hector, yeah, it was Hector. And I can't remember who the third person was, but I, yep, that was one of them. Uh, Hector 1v3. Actually, I think it was, <laughs> was Jackie it. Moon, Hector, and I can't remember what his name was. It was uh, an old player of ours. His name was Chris. Mm-hmm. But he he did play on the team uh, for semester. Him and Hector graduated at the same time. I gotcha. Uh, but no, they definitely did uh, get us that one. That was actually our first one ever in a lobby. It was huge. Hector uh, soloed one v three an entire team and won uh, on a battle. And I believe it was chapter two. Yeah, uh, that <laughs> that was definitely long ago. That's about what a year and a half ago, right? Yeah, uh, first semester here, I believe it was our third uh, day of matches, and we got it, which was super big. Uh, I remember it was awesome to see that and get it on the stream. Not stream, well, we didn't get to stream it but because we weren't there yet, but mm-hmm. it was awesome to do. I wish we could have streamed it, but I'm hoping today we can get our first uh, victory royale on a stream. Right, you know, that'd be very nice to see. I mean, we usually come really close to it, but it's also uh, just uh, the due to some positioning, uh, I would say. It would be uh, an awesome early Christmas slash birthday gift. Cody, Christmas is months away. I know. <laughs> However, my birthday's uh, coming up in about four months, so. Two weeks. What? Two weeks for me. Oh, yeah, that's right. 23. Having, uh, yeah. Getting old. Hey, getting old. Sure, yeah. Please Maybe. come visit me in the home. <laughs> I will just uh, just for you, my man. Thanks. Don't bring sour candies. I don't know why they say old people like sour candies. That's not a lie. I'll bring you butterscotch. Bring me Skittles. 
The sour ones. <laughs> no, the regular Skittles. I'll take purple bag, too. The purple bag of Skittles. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's like tropical flavor, but it, trust me, don't ever do Sour Skittles, worst cr- candy creation they've ever cut. Okay, you know what? Black licorice, then sour Skittles. Hey, I like black licorice uh, and sour I don't, Skittles. It, it's the smell that gets me. Well, you know what? I think you smell like black licorice. <laughs> No, I smell like the country body spray my friend got me. Oh, oh yeah, all right. (laughs) That he got from Qatar. Uh, Right, so (laughs) back to it, of course, to see that we managed to pick up another uh, bounty. Uh, What what is this place called? Is is it Chonkers? Uh, Chonkers Speedway. Oh, all righty. That's definitely an interesting one. Was that there in season... One, I believe there's a lot of old maps. There was a speedway uh, there, but it was more at the time they had the. It, it was not this big. It was smaller, right. and it well according to the map, I remember it was to the right bottom, not bottom left, but like re- right midway of the original map. Right. I can't see from this point, but I think this is one's at the bottom of the map. Right. It's I think this used to be where to the nice Chinatown time. map was. Map. Uh, a very inter- I don't think there's actually another team here. I believe we're actually closer to the edge of the map, if I'm correct. Mm-hmm. And so we're definitely we might actually not even see another team here until uh, that ring starts closing in. But we are sitting here at about 11th place with 22 players still remaining. So mm-hmm. uh, hopefully, again, as we were talking about getting in the victory royale, but at least I'd say maybe top five, top three. And it looks like the team that we are hunting right now is Providence again. They do have a couple teams in here, but it looks like we are hunting one of their players right now, at least on the bounty, but he's not anywhere nearby at right, the moment. Four minutes and 30 seconds remaining on that bounty, so uh, hopefully we might see an early fight here, grabbing a couple of early kills. Uh, would definitely be uh, be nice. I know that Jackie Jackie Min, yeah, he's got a solid setup, especially on Matt. He's almost there on uh, Max uh, Metal, too. There are a difference a lot that uh, you, you sometimes don't recognize or anyone recognizes. It's uh, on the mat, uh, Max Matt loadout that you can do and some tourneys you could actually go up to a thousand each one but mm-hmm. in this one you can only do 500 of each okay sure. which lessens it and makes you need to be more smarter with map placement right uh he is almost there actually he could take out uh these bleachers here and actually take it out uh, i'm hoping he does that because being at 493 is disturbing me uh not gonna <laughs> ocd yeah uh the, i'm surprised that didn't give any materials uh come on game or come on jackie please don't do this to me uh, I'm very disturbed with this play style. 499. Right now. <laughs> he's <laughs> one he's away. One away now. <laughs> just <laughs> definitely doesn't help me. Um, please just hit one thing. It's all I needed to do. And uh, no, nope, doesn't count. <laughs> there you yeah, go. There we go. All right. Well, I'm in. A, I'm in a better mood. Places one placement, and then it's off again. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be. Yeah, I won't even be surprised. Uh, of course, uh, he's trying to go ahead and get uh, some intel here. He might actually use the zip line. Uh, of course, so. Uh, I honestly say that they're uh, sitting all right here. They um, are. They are. And the so far, panel, they've been doing right? pretty sol- uh, solid for placement-wise. Um, it did suck to see what happened last time, but to be honest, it was a bad push, bad judgment and call on that one. And But we all make mistakes like that. There was bound to be a game like that in here. Mm-hmm. But like I said, they got a solid, good one match out of this. I'm hoping we could see a victory out of this one in the last one. But uh, it looks like they did see someone in a distance away. Right now, that is a very high ground. That is a very high vantage point at this moment in the game. Right, and you know what? That, uh, I'm going to be very uh, lost if Jackman decides they want to go ahead and shoot towards that one team. Uh, but actually, uh, as we can see, there's actually a Gomez, I believe. He just shot down a crow. But, yeah, no, it seems that they're going to have a personal, per, uh, purple SMG over there. Uh, Jackie Moon might want that considering he's at a blue SMG, but uh, it seems that they will actually might, or they might get blasted down from the people sitting on top of that high ground. And, uh, yeah, definitely uh, they don't want to try and do that. So uh, it, it's going to be just a little bit of a slow game here. I'm very interested to know if that they pay too much attention, though, to these people that are on high ground. I'm very scared that another team is going to run up mm-hmm. behind them. But mm-hmm. they are all the way down at Chonker Speedway. But as you can see with the bounty, there is somebody who is behind them, and I don't yeah. believe that's Gomez the third. So, uh, I, mean, I mean, you can't see the yellow circle on the map. Uh, there, There's bound to be someone behind them eventually. As you, can uh, see. you can actually see the edge of the yellow circle in that bottom left of the yeah. map, so they are near them. But it looks like they did just go away. But since we got a pause in time real quick, let's go ahead and mention our YouTube channel again. If sure. we want to throw that in the comments again, uh, we can go ahead and uh, sponsor that. Go ahead and follow, leave a subscribe, like. Uh, check it out. We have really cool content on there. Our uh, our production and marketing team work on. They do a very good job on it. 
Uh, but yeah, no, definitely go check it out. You'll see a lot of good clips and a lot of good plays from our past matches and uh, practices. Right, even seen clips uh, from these matches. Maybe next week, uh, I would assume so. Mm-hmm. Uh, now it seems that we have seen uh, we seem to be uh, turning around actually and looking uh, around at where uh, I believe uh, X Original is this his name. So you definitely want to watch out where other people are. Uh, actually, this is an interesting circle. I just realized we're getting smaller and smaller with the other uh, circle uh, is right now, and there are a lot of teams actually who've managed to go ahead and end up at Chonker Speedway. Uh, I believe actually Jackie Moon and Gomez III are actually uh, doing really well here with positioning, so uh, they probably don't want to move, or at least I would advise don't jump pad towards uh, a team again. But uh, they're going to go ahead and use the zip line over here, managing to find a couple of people but not be, being able to go ahead and make contact with them. They're going to be able to go ahead and run away here. Uh, they might actually try and build uh, a couple of bases uh, here. Of course, they really want this extra chest. I saw nobody was uh, over here on this part of the land. They are going to be able to go ahead and open the chest, but nothing It looks new. like they're also moving to the center of the circle right now. This is going to drag lots of attention because everyone's going to want to move to the circle or whatever the highest vantage point is in the circle. Mm-hmm. Uh, he will actually pick up that SMG, uh, of course. So uh, Bounty did expire here, so they don't really have information on where that team is. We do know that there is a team uh, like that in their area, though, Ooh, so it's go good to know. Somebody for 19, but it probably won't do uh, won't do much uh, luck there other than maybe stall out a push, perhaps, uh, with another team. But, you know, as of right now, it's going to be a slow and defensive game. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, there's not really much I can't say. He's going to go ahead and use that strategy we see usually every day or uh, every time we – or, uh, yeah, every time we stream Fortnite uh, where he builds upwards and then he uses uh, this little uh, strategy here to go ahead and try and get information. Uh, Gomez is making t- uh, shots towards someone. And Ooh, and there's a hit, but it looks 19. like someone is down. Gomez oh, did he- knock him, and it looks like they are taking their shots at him. The guac is knocked. The guac and is there knocked. is an elimination by Gomez with that distant shot of a well, I believe that was 140 meters, uh, which is actually a pretty decent shot. Yeah, the pretty long too. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and hit somebody for 19 here too. It seems that Jackie Moon said he wants to go ahead and apply a lot of pressure onto this team right now. He's gonna another go ahead hit. And hit somebody That's 19. 19. He did use splashes, and it looks like there was a crack, but he is bailing, jumping down, and another kill by Gomez with the rifle. Let us go with 133 meter shot. He is hitting them shots with that assault rifle. I'm not sure what one he's using, but there is a, ho- a heavy AK and the aim down sights assault rifle. So either way, he is popping off those shots right now. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> definitely Gomez is actually showing a lot of skill in the long-range fights here, uh, managing to go ahead and try and just start clicking people from uh, long ways there. So, uh, again, they do ha- they are in the center of the circle, so they pretty much have to watch out. That's a crack, though. I did manage to go ahead and see uh, that special effects there. So that person's sitting at around 80 health. Uh, if I do say so myself, you got to watch out that there are people to their left right now. Uh, there we go. Going to hit them for 19 again. Are they going to go ahead and manage to get this person downed? Uh, they're shooting at the car, assuming that they went ahead and tried to take the car to run away here. Uh, we might actually see another kill on the side of MWSU here. They can only tell that the person is above uh, or behind that wall there. Uh, I, again, as I stated before, uh, actually, that's almost towards the set. No, that's actually away from the circle. So actually, uh, if it was me, i try and focus on uh, who is behind me right now, considering uh, that's more closer towards the circle. But uh, honestly, it was good placement uh, from WSU uh, Griffith Esports. So uh, it seems that they're going to go ahead. It seems that like Gomez might have gotten hit. Uh, I don't know. They are waiting for this free. I'm pretty sure here. someone's sitting inside that gas station right there at that wall that's sticking out. Like that, He's aiming at right now. That wall, I'm pretty sure someone's sitting right in there on the edge of the storm just healing. He is taking shots at it because if they destroy it, I'm pretty sure someone's going to pop out of there. They know yeah, that there he's in there. They popped and out. They see, to go ahead and, get and the he car. hit him Headshot with the 29. To take him out for 29 damage. And it looks he like he did jump car. out, and it looks like he's probably leaving his teammate behind. But he hit him like twice there for 19, and it looks like they are. There was a crack right there. The car is getting away, but it looks like they are being attacked from the left. They want that elimination because one of them is cracked, and they are moving. Uh, most likely, they're going to sit low though. It's either that they're going to go for that care package sitting right there. Honestly, is it safe to go for this care package now? I believe I'm scared that another team is actually right now targeting us, uh, especially, you know, because I said, you know, they're not really focused on uh, the people that are behind them. So uh, it seems that Jackie Moon really wants to go ahead and get rid of that uh, crate there. So he's going to go ahead and do that. It did have uh, some chug splash in there. He's going to decide that he wants to go ahead and go for it. He's going to go ahead and slide over and slide back in. Uh, definitely, uh, I like the way. Uh, I would also gone for that, uh, uh, that guzzle juice right there. 
Yeah, but I, honestly, I think at this point, I think Chug Splash might have been better just in that well, case because it can do no, 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 I agree. And shield. No, no, I agree with you, but I also would have grabbed that and uh, thrown it in there too because he dropped uh, them in there also. Uh, his Splash is in there to go get more. See what he's doing? He's moving everything to one area so he has it if they need to retreat there and heal. Yeah, there's actually a couple different fights going on uh, right now. He might actually try here. Uh, this is what you're talking about. He's uh, he's, he's transferring loading. things. Yeah, he's transferring <laughs> things. And he did. he's grabbing more of what he had. And he has an extra, too. He just doesn't have room Ooh, for him. There is a team down below them right now. There he are needs to watch this right, though. And it looks like another shot by Gomez with a 70-meter hit. And right now he is taking those shots. Oh, they are trying to, And there's an elimination one. with four eliminations on the board. One Jackie Moon, three Gomez. Gomez is stepping up in eliminations this round, hitting his... His shots and taking names. Yeah, he's definitely uh, having the ga- <laughs> time of uh, time of, the time of his life right now uh, in uh, Chonker Speedway. Here, uh, as you can see, there is somebody in that uh, in that uh, build uh, that Jackie Moon just saw. Of course, uh, you definitely want to be careful as well. It does seem that like these SMGs are putting in work though. But Gomez, uh, they're definitely landing his shots mm-hmm. uh, a lot more than he was uh, in the first couple of games here. But he did manage to get a couple of kills on the other games as well too. So. Uh, again, it's team effort. Doesn't matter who gets kills as long as uh, kills and the uh, victory royale uh, is achievable. It's the same thing with pretty much all battle royale games. As long as you're doing the damage, as long as you're working together, good communication, helping each other, and not uh, being carried by one another. As long as you're doing your job, that's good. And that's how I see Gomez it. Gomez actually got hit here. I just realized that, that Gomez uh, he did get sniped a bit earlier uh, by taking a peek shot from the people the Spider Man webs. It looks like they are moving right now. Uh, with the launch pad, here the and launch here pad. they go. Right now, this is going to be a tough situation since they're the ones that are moving into the circle. They need to be careful on where they choose. It looks like they're going straight into the fight. They might land on this one person right here behind them. It's going to be a rough shot, but it looks like they are attacking. He did jump up and get out of there. Smart yeah, move from that player. This is a tough player, position here. They had to get out of that storm. They got stuck in it. Uh, let's see here. Gomez the third. Uh, I thought he got knocked down for a second. No, Gomez the third managed to go ahead and keep up with a Jackie Moon here. Uh, they are in a little bit of a tough position. That's what you're talking about. But I mm-hmm. believe eventually that circle is going to go ahead and move on over. Oh, and there is a light up right there. He is taking that box shot and trying to get him. But it looks like he is. That other team did push back and use Chuck Splashes on themselves. Uh, it was a smart move there. He is weakening the uh, enemy teams. And it looks like right now there's up to at least maybe six teams. He did put an armor wall above Gomez so he could heal. Smart move right there for team play. Uh, but that was his last armor. still wall. a little bit low on health, actually. Uh, he, uh, definitely yep. one shot. <laughs> uh, definitely, definitely. But they also have truck splashes they can use. Hopefully they are smart and they use them on him because they need each other's help to especially win this game with six teams remaining, or at least that's the minimum amount that are left. It looks like three of them are, uh, three players are on them right now. I hope he uses the chug splashes right behind him because he needs to use that to help Gomez. Yeah, I know. I'm definitely curious. With the wide wall open too, that would have been a dangerous move right there if they would have moved in. Here we go. This is the time you'd want to be able to go ahead and do it. I mean, they are going to go ahead and wait for people to actually uh, shift on over, but Gomez, I mean, I, I don't know if Gomez doesn't notice or anything like that or... Uh, what's happening here, but I'm curious to know as to why he hasn't healed yet. Uh, this is actually definitely worrying me now. Oh, and there's one coming from his left, too. They need to look out right now. Here's the splashes coming in. Honestly, uh, uh, they might actually manage to pull this off here uh, with everybody slowly moving over, but I Ooh, believe they need to hold the wall right here. here. He realizes that there's somebody over to uh, his left side. You definitely got to watch out. There's teams all around them. Ooh, it seems that they might actually get caught out here. I think there's a couple of bullets flying towards uh, Jackie Moon Gomez here. keeping up right, right Gomez actually managed to go ahead and get his health back up too. So this is definitely a tough situation. I'm very curious to right watch. Right now they're doing a very good job on being able to heal up and everything. They are, they are trying to stay out of the storm, storm too. Oh, he actually uh, bumps into Jackie Moon there. Uh, are they going to be able to go ahead and run out is the question. There might be a team just over and around the corner. Jackie Moon's shield getting a little bit low here. They uh, are staggering on each other right now, but trying to get in there. They need to look out because someone is in that box with Jackie Jackie Moon, he is able to get it, but it looks like Gomez did get knocked at the moment. He's just trying to survive with that one person pushing on him. He knows he doesn't want to take this fight because he knows he's probably not going to win it. But he is healing up. Smart move real quick. It sucks that Jackie Moon... Or here we Jackie go. Moon, he's actually going to have go uh, the chunk splashes here. So he's actually uh, sitting on pretty good grounds here. Unfortunately, Gomez, as you said, did go ahead and go down here. So now would be the time to go ahead and try and play for kills. Let's he go. There's one. To go ahead Taking and out the off one. Can he go ahead and get out, though? Oh, he's on nine health. If he gets stuck in the storm, he will go down and get taken out as well. So uh, hopefully... Oh, oh, he gets shot from the top. But... With about six kills, five, six kills. I think it was five eliminations uh, at the moment, uh, but it was a good play, good play uh, coming by them. It was hard to move. There were.
certain times in there they did get stuck, but to be honest, that was a very good play right there. Uh, up till fifth place, not a bad placement and not a bad amount of kills. Yeah, so honestly, uh, very well played, uh, as you just said. So, uh, of course, that game is now over. We're going to go ahead and wait for uh, that game to finish out. We'll go ahead uh, and get started with the last and final game, I believe. It is yep. four games. Four so, games. Griffins, we're going to go ahead and take a short break here. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Alrighty, welcome back Griffins. If you're just now joining us, my name is Scorch Darren, also known as Darren Brinks, and right next to me... Hold on, put in my headset. Oh uh, my I'm God. Cody Doc McLaughlin, what's <laughs> up? And, uh, well, we quite, we had the great uh, 
third game. Actually, I would say, uh, if you're just, again, if you're just not joining us, uh, this is the NACE Collegiate Series. It's a four-game series as of today. Uh, it's a new series we are participating in. Uh, not for the first time, I believe for the second time, if mm-hmm. I'm correct. And uh, at uh, not the, well, second time, not really. The first time we did a league. This is more of a small little seasonal uh, tournament. I don't know if they're doing leagues still or not, mm-hmm. but uh, we have done work with them before, and we did really good in their league. So uh, we did sign up for this one. At the moment, I believe we're still in fourth place, holding that lead. And uh, I'm actually super psyched to know that because my team's doing such a great job. Mm-hmm. I believe I thought we were first place in eliminations, or did that change? Uh, Last time I checked, we are by, I believe, five eliminations. And if we keep this up, we may automatically qualify for the uh, finals in two weeks for this. Sure, already. So, you know, that's awesome. Yeah, and uh, that will debate also. Uh, most, uh, I'm still thinking whether we're going to do the next one or not. Uh, if we automatically qualify, uh, it's either that or we'll sign up for another one and ju- uh, another tournament and do that uh, over the next qualifier. But, mm-hmm. hey, it's awesome to know that we have the chances to automatically qualify based off of our uh, <laughs> skill. <laughs> Right. Uh, there goes, uh, what was his name? Hank the Duck? Uh, that the was duck? Hector the Duck. He just killed Hector. Already in the top the chair. 12 here. Awesome. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, we've definitely had a good run. I believe we did, what was it, fourth place? We did fourth place with eight eliminations, and then we did ninth place with two eliminations, and then last game was fifth place with fi- uh, or fifth place with five eliminations. Yeah, so we're definitely, we're definitely sitting far up there, uh, I'd honestly say so. Uh, when it comes to uh, Fortnite, we're definitely uh, getting that bread. Right, Cody? What, 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 Why did you look at me in that way and say, getting that bread? <laughs> because I know the stereotypes of Fortnite, so I just thought uh, that would have been a little so bit So the so. points are updated. It looks like we are still holding strong with fourth place. We do have colleges behind us that are pushing, but one more solid game automatically would put us in the top four. Uh, it looks like eliminations. We are battling with the team in first place on uh, most eliminations. So we are in first place. And eliminations. Lives. Okay, sure. Yeah, okay, cool. That's uh, But awesome placement-wise, by points, sadly, they are in the lead. I believe they've gotten the last two wins, uh, Victor Royales, in the last two games. But you know what? That changes now. I have a gut feeling, bro. I really hope the players aren't listening to the stream because they just heard that. Now, now you've just made the pressure and ten times bet. This is not wood. This this is wood. <laughs> yeah, this is wood. This is not <laughs> Grab's desk. Oh, this is wood. <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, it seems like what they, uh, as Grab usual, like they drop rocket Throw salt so. over the shoulder. Don't break a mirror. Blame it on the dog. Blame it on the do- What? You wouldn't understand. It's a luck thing. Oh, I would have been like, <laughs> you crazy dog. You made me look bad. Ooga, booga, booga. You know what that? Courage the cowardly dog. What? What? You stupid. You don't know that? I, I'm, joking. Seen, <laughs> I'm joking. You just called me stupid for not knowing Courage no, the Cowardly no, no, Dog. No, 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 I didn't call you stupid. I was re-quoting. You stupid dog. You made me oh, look Oh, I thought you were no, calling why? me stupid. I would never call you stupid. Also, there goes Luke's trailer again. One's dropping dropping a sniper, a green sniper, bro. Oh, you got to get better equipment. <laughs> yeah, get good, Luke. Where, where's that salary going, bro? <laughs> to V-Bucks? Uh, use it on the equipment. <laughs> Oh man, but nah. Uh, I've I've seen that. I think they did a crossover with Scooby Doo or something like that in the past. No, but what? Yeah. No, there's no way. Yeah, they did. I think so. Why are we talking about Scooby Doo and Courage on stream? This because is Scooby Doo is like my homie growing up. Oh yeah, but apparently you didn't know uh, what. <laughs> I know who Courage Cowardly Dog is. I, my favorite one oh, was like Return the, the Slide or something like that. The what? The what? Uh, it was like a painting and something. Oh, oh okay. You stupid dog. You made me look bad. Ooga, booga, booga. I prefer the Flintstones, though. Uh, I'm more of a Jetsons guy. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm only 20. I'm surprised I know what the Jetsons is. But, hey, as we do, uh, as we get back towards the stream here, uh, we actually do see a care package uh, dropping towards Rocky Reels. Uh, I do believe, uh, hopefully, or hopefully they're not getting baited out here by it. Hopefully no team uh, is here. Uh, it seems that they are going to go ahead and go for it. So uh, hopefully they don't get caught out here. or cut. Uh. I think it's still early in the game where a bunch of players are spread out. Not a whole lot of them go to the desert. We do mm-hmm. see a couple come from the desert, but they're pretty far spreaded. But uh, while we got this chance, uh, let me ask you a question. Yes. What's your favorite part about being a shoutcaster? My favorite part about being a shoutcaster? Yeah. I feel like the uh, public wants to know, like, wh- what is your... Favorite part about doing this? Waking up, getting to know you get a shout cast for... I get to talk. Uh, what on earth was that? Um, 
Uh, uh, sorry, that was about the stream. Um, no, I think my favorite part about shoutcasting uh, is not only can I act uh, like my crazy self on stream, uh, but uh, it's also a part of my major, of course, in the communications and public relations and fun mm -hmm. stuff like that. Uh, it's more I could be myself on stream, and of course, I'm very fond of all of you here at Griffin Esports. So it's it's a it's a fun little pass uh, pastime for uh, trying to. Uh, I'd say achieve the point to where hopefully shoutcasting can become a full-time job, I assume. But besides the job part, uh, it's definitely entertaining to do. Uh, I definitely don't need to be, uh, or like, you know, like if I ever decide one day that I wanted to, you know, I'm not very good at Fortnite, but I can still shoutcast Fortnite knowing yeah. some of the basic knowledge. Uh, it's definitely fun. So it's kind of one of those things where I don't have to be good to know uh, or to have fun on stream, kind of, if any of that's any connecting together. And <laughs> that makes sense. It's awesome that uh, this is something you want to do. Um, I'm very curious as to know what so is So there is a challenge you can do against the NPCs. Some of them offer weapons, maybe some shields, maybe certain equipment in the game. Uh, they instead just of buying assaulted it. that man. Exactly. It was called a duel. They challenged him to a duel, didn't pay for anything. And he and he accepted it uh, as an NPC. Is he gone? Yep. He's he's dead, Cody. Yeah, Cody, he's dead. He's pancakes. Leave him alone. <laughs> I guess I thought you. Were are we gonna, gonna go? Are we gonna go to IHOP now? And you're, I eat the pancakes, oh, and man, you're just IHOP gonna say good though. <laughs> it does. I'm preferring Tomos, but anyway, uh, uh, literally, you can't just. It, it, it's something that happens <laughs> in the game. It was a huge thing last chapter. With all these, uh, you, there's more people in the game too that do this. But um, back to the shoutcasting thing, I do agree. Knowing that this is something <laughs> you got to do that you like. Yeah, no. Uh, if I could be happy while doing something, uh, that's definitely probably one of the most important things. Of course, mental health is very important uh, but when it comes to doing. The whenever you were going so. to college, did you ever expect that you were going to be doing this? Absolutely not. No, I, I did not. Uh, but I was like, you know what, shoutcasting, I might as well give it a try. Uh, I think it all started actually out with League of Legends. I was like, I'm not good at League. I want to participate. Uh, of course, that has changed because I, I'm not necessarily fond of League anymore. Uh, of course, I still love, like, it's more or less I love watching and talking about it over playing it. It's kind mm -hmm. of one of those things. And uh, that it just kind of, you know, just clicks with you to shoutcast. You know what I mean? Uh, I hopefully, we can shoutcast more games uh, other than uh, Fortnite, Rocket League. League of Legends and Overwatch, uh, but I do enjoy shoutcasting each and every one of them uh, equally. So you're gonna have to start looking for more people sooner or later. Uh, my time will come. <laughs> this is just gonna become sad. Now. My time will come, Darren. You have to move on. You have to move on. You my have to Cody. find better people. <laughs> Who's so. gonna be my shoutcasting buddy? You can shoutcast with Luke. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna get a whole lot of emotions out of that, but <laughs> no. But we love Luke. Luke, uh, definitely. He might does. he might harass you during I the show, stream. <laughs> I shoutcasted Luke. Uh, I shoutcasted. Uh, I think with was, Luke actually for Rocket League. Yeah, so. but I remember him shoutcasting one time with you through Rocket League. I don't remember what he the, definitely knew a lot more. <laughs> oh yeah, Rocket League is definitely uh, he, Rocket League and CS:GO is definitely Luke's uh, go-to on that one. Right. Uh, actually, as we can see in the chat, chili cheese oatmeal said Flintstones is way better. What the heck, Darren? I don't know. I, uh, or, I, thank I, you, Jetsons. thank you, Cruz. No, I know you I don't never, exist, just, but thank you. I necessarily didn't like the Flintstones. I like the Jetson and the fun stuff in it. I Our guess. watch party's freaking out right now and debating over that. <laughs> it's this the shoutcaster said he likes the Jetsons better. Get him. <laughs> Breaks down the door. Yeah, Angry a, mob, pitchforks, torches. Yeah, outside the eastbox arena. Just hear you screaming, root beer float, root beer float, <laughs> root beer float. <laughs> and then I I'm here with my arms crossed. I knew my time would come. <laughs> <laughs> you just phase out, you snap. And, well, Dust Cody, away. Yeah. Just like uh, the was, Avengers. Man, that's, that's, <laughs> that's sad. <laughs> kind of. I mean, they won. <sighs> my time has end. come. Or it's either that or uh, Thor Ragnarok when the dad disappears. I uh, have the dust. no idea. Um, it's I've a never it's seen a Marvel thing. He, it's a Marvel thing. Yeah, uh, I'm not a DC person though. I'm just not the superhero. Uh, oh type my of god! Guy. What? I said I'm not a DC person. It's not DC. I just said what it was. It's Marvel. I know. I said, but the, what I said is like I'm not much of a Marvel guy, but I'm definitely not a DC guy either. Okay, it, that did sound like it yeah. No, uh, Thor's from DC guys. So is Spider Man and every other Avenger that there ever was in the Marvel universe. There have been crossovers. 
Have there? Yeah. Uh, I, I guess. Hasn't there been fighting games before? I know as much as what's going on in the stream right now, they're definitely well, playing not, it slow. Uh, fighting games in a way, but yeah, I'm talking about like there have been like comic book crossovers, maybe sometimes TV sh- uh, TV show crossovers. Oh, actually, that's a good question I should ask you right now. What's your favorite crossover with Fortnite? Favorite one ever? Out of all the ones they've done? Yeah. That, wow. There's been a lot of crossovers. Also, we just reached top 10, so it's very well. Is there any points? We don't have any kills on the board, and we definitely need those uh, um, if we want to stay in first place for kills. So, Hmm. Dude, I actually don't know. There's been a lot of crossovers in general with the game. I would have to say, honest opinion, mm-hmm. Borderlands. Oh, that's right. They did have Borderlands. Borderlands is such a good chapter game Chapter 1, they did uh, Borderlands map. I remember because when you walked into it, you actually turned into your uh, the art, the, uh, oh, the graphics and texture. Shaded. Yeah, it actually changed how your character looked. You did gain shields at that place. I actually have uh, one of the uh, bandit skins, and oh, I've wow. been meaning to wear it more, but, I mean, I've been kind of wearing the four-leaf clover, the Lucky Rider skin more. Yeah, it just makes sense. It's kind of your your brand there is the uh, Dr. Luck 58 uh, with the four-leaf clover. So. Yeah, yeah, and, like, I'm, I don't know. I just like that better. Obviously, I do like the bandit skin, uh, but, but, yeah, no. Definitely my favorite game crossover is definitely that one. There are other ones. I did like the DC crossover with the Tilted Towers turned into Gotham or the Marvel crossover. I do but, like Venom, by the way. Venom has been one of my favorites. Yeah, Venom uh, looks absolutely amazing. They did a very good job on him. But, um, yeah. What about your least favorite one? Do you have a least favorite one, or do you tend to like them all? Also, there is uh, a bit of fire coming in from the northeast side. They're definitely uh, just sitting in the bush waiting it out. Uh, but, anyways, before anything happens, go ahead. Uh, I'll go ahead and interrupt. Least and- favorite's probably going to be yeah. way harder than most favorite. Least favorite, I probably would have to say maybe... Uh, Shoot. Oh, I do like the Gears of War, by the way, the crossover. It's okay. They had the Gears of War stuff. I mean, I, I definitely got really good at Gears of War for a while now. I grew up with it uh, in my middle uh, middle school years, even playing on a Xbox team So uh, for Gears of War. Honest 30, opinion so. on what my least favorite is? Yep. Rick and Morty. Uh, oh, wait. Do they have Rick and Morty? Yep. Yep. I First came the Rick skin. Oh, he was wait, a right. very main character in Chapter 2 for one of them. Uh, I believe it was a second to last. I think it was like season seven in chapter two. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the Morty skin came in later. It, 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 I just didn't like it, to be honest. I mean, That's I love fair. the show sometimes watching it at some times. Maybe a couple of seasons are pretty good. Solar Opposites was okay, but it's just. <laughs> in the chat, there's, uh, I totally forgot we had the delay on. Bro, dinosaurs and rocks are way better than spaceships and lasers. <laughs> he, he's got a point. They yeah, are. I, I suppose so. I don't know. Maybe I'm also, just... I don't like things that involve like the future kind of stuff because they're like, oh my god. Do you not like this Elon year? Musk? This year in like twenty thirty two is oh, going to be this. Oh wait, and I this. think they noticed that uh, Jackie Moon and Gomez the third are actually in this bush right now. Uh, oh yeah, they're definitely in a tough position. They need to go ahead uh, and try and get out of there. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. They need a launch pad out of there. If I was them, at least that's my opinion. They're probably playing a smarter strat and staying in one area because right now they're being uh, flying on, uh, flew, uh, flew on right now. Uh, right now they're oh, going. Yeah, they're definitely somebody's on top of them. He's gonna go and hit him. I couldn't quite. They see are the together. Number. That's why I do like to see. Oh, oh there is a crack right there. Oh, uh, he is up there fighting Gomez right now, and Gomez is still has full, uh, at least somewhat shield left. So it's not going bad, but it looks like the guy is healing right now. Uh, right now they are trying to push. Right now they're being smart, trying to get back to each other. But it looks like oh, oh okay. and a knock. Go and knock. Let's go. Size. There we go. Going to be able to go ahead and thirst kill him, taking him out. Uh, that was uh, actually one of the kills we also got on the same exact person, uh, I believe, last game, actually. Gomez so. is holding his line, but it looks like another team is firing on them because of the fight. They're trying to third-party them, but right now it looks like Gomez, I think, is currently in a battle right now Right. With if they the get taken out here, though, we are sitting about eighth place here, and I definitely don't want to see the game end here. Exactly. I want to see a victory royale, dude. I think the other teammate did bail, uh, did not want to uh, die, but hey, you know what? We're still alive. That's awesome. Uh... <laughs> Best crossover of all time was the Albanian cut of Scooby Doo and Johnny Bravo. I love that one. <laughs> Johnny Bravo joins the gang. I remember he kept on hitting on. Uh, the funny thing was he never hit on Daphne. He always hit on Velma. Oh my! What is wrong with you? <laughs> that was funny. Oh my! Because usually, it, apparently, it, you all know about. It. I've never seen it, but <laughs> oh that was, out of context, that's that was interesting. <laughs> 
What what is uh what does Johnny Bravo always say? He always he always says something. He goes like, hey, <laughs> hey sexy mama. Oh my god, <laughs> that's what he says. He's literally the best thing ever. Yeah, I mean, old timey cartoons like that were they've uh, changed. They definitely weren't as uh, strict on their writing as they are now. I would agree, but I like that. Uh, looks like Gomez is knocked right now against that one v one. I guess the guy was healing, but let's uh, get back into focusing on this. Yeah, uh, the <laughs> bile. Sorry, sorry for going off track on that one. It looks like he is going to go ahead. And Get his teammate safety so that he can heal, and they are on a good set right there. Throwing oh, him over into the corner. Throw him, all right. Here we go. Now we've been in this position before, where Jackie Moon either has to make a decision of to keep fighting and win the next fight, or to uh, revive Gomez the third. But here we go. We might actually see that person pushing on top of Jackie Moon right now. Jackie Moon has to be in a good position here to be able to keep himself and his teammate in the correct. He's holding uh, that corner. A, he doesn't want to get killed right there. Gomez moving to the left side. This is a smart move right now. He is trying to res right now, but I guess the other team is pushing that other here we go. player. Somebody's actually parachuting in. They might have heard the shooting, and now uh, they have more uh, troubles on their hand here so uh, he's going to be able to go ahead and get uh, the uh, revive off here so here we go Gomez the third great uh, great uh, strategy uh, okay uh, rewind great plan there from Jackie Moon to actually get that revive off that's what I meant uh, they have two jump pads uh, honestly I would probably try and use those if I'm going to be honest uh, you definitely will, uh, don't want to get caught out, especially with this weird tunnel that they're sort of building here. But they definitely do want to go ahead uh, and try and get in point here. Gomez the third, trying to take up a couple uh, shots here. And as we're looking at here, uh, once again, we're gonna as uh, as they're gonna go ahead and drop the peppers uh, onto the ground as well. Are they called peppers? Right? Yeah, yeah, chili pe peppers. Chili peppers. Yeah, sure. All righty. Uh, just just trying to get my knowledge on there. I, I mean, it's peppers. I mean, peppers, chili pepper. peppers. I mean, yeah, it's. Uh, it, I mean, they're they're. Peppers. I mean, there's not really a whole difference. They could be called either. All right. So uh, going uh, on from there, it does seem that the uh, person they were fighting actually managed to go ahead uh, and escape, mm -hmm. if I do say so. Uh, quite possibly so. There is about maybe seven, eight teams left. I'm not sure yet. Uh, there is we a solo somewhere. We are around seventh, eighth place, depending on how this gets played out. So, As I say, as long as we can get at least fifth place or higher, I would be super happy. But to be honest, I am one to victory royale. The team has fought very hard for this. They're in the top at least around somewhere with eliminations. Not sure yet. It could change after this game. But to be honest, uh, I, I want to see us uh, in the top. I do want to see a, ro a victory royale here. Yeah, it does seem that Gomez the third once again is not on full HP, and that kind of again worries me. He uh, looks like he well. did eat those peppers, I believe, or at least got some of them. Uh, he's probably looking around for some food, something. And I, I'm not kidding. If we had a harpoon gun, everyone would be scared of Jackie Moon. He loves using yeah. that and he hits his shots. That thing is insane with Jackie Moon. But it looks like someone is pushing on to them. It looks like a, a solid team right now. Uh, I don't know if they're coming out from the storm or not. To be honest, since they just got there, I'm going to say they just got out of the storm. Yeah, it seems that they're actually right in front of them, and Jackie Moon's going to be able to go ahead and try and land some shots here. Uh, Gomez might have actually gotten stuck there. No, he's going to go ahead and make his way down. Uh, Gomez, uh, I really am getting worried with the way his health is. I mean, there are a couple of chug splashes, but I guess they're waiting. Oh, they actually are going to go ahead and come in contact with the team here. They're going to go ahead and see if they can get them down. Can they manage to get the knock off? No, it doesn't seem so, but Gomez is going to be able to go ahead and follow up. Uh, with Gomez play. at the moment is the only one that was pushing him at that second and that actually kind of scared me because I thought he was pushing him alone and it looks like an elimination did come on that other team sadly it was not them but it looks like it was another team called uh, Pexy they did have the victory royale crown oh, so they did going to go ahead and pick up the victory crown uh, hopefully that doesn't make him an easier target uh, with the way the at the moment the it. targets not gonna, he's not going to be marked as a target he'll just be glowing and people may go after him because of that because it's a sign that whoever won the last game is already eliminated mm -hmm. or just dropped it in general I don't know if you can drop there it there we go there's another chili pepper and they're going to need to go ahead and make a sprint away they're going to go ahead and break these builds made by the other teams and here we go that sprint that they're going to go ahead uh, and need but this is a little bit of an interesting position here they're going to and go it looks ahead like he did eat that flopper away. too on the way so he has gained some back some health and that's awesome that they're using the water to their advantage to stay ahead they can well they're gonna have to watch their backs even more now but someone is above them on the bridge they need to be careful on watching high ground right now it looks like they are going to go ahead and box up they are in the circle they have a very good point great positioning too mm -hmm. like that was honestly a really good play they decided to go ahead and use those chili peppers to go ahead and get a speed boost as you said uh before and now we're seeing them actually slowly trickle their way uh down into uh seventh or sixth place as we I see agree. from the people so of course uh what i'm doing 
doing is I'm just taking the number of players and dividing it by two. So. Uh, that's pretty much the best you can do. There's really no uh, easy way to know who's still, uh, what teams are still alive, how many people are on teams. To oh, be honest, it's probably still that solo, right uh, the one that we were trying to fight earlier that did not Gomez. To be honest, uh, I think we're sitting pretty solid right now. But I think once this next circle moves, is about to move, there will be another fight. It looks like another team is uh, downed and eliminated right now. It's a solid 12, six teams maybe still alive. Uh, yeah, but it was a finish, so there's probably two solos running there. around. Uh, here we go. Down to 11 players now. Uh, now we're looking around uh, sixth place or fifth place. So There is one. Uh, there's still another solo on, out there. Um, Fias, I don't know, some person like that, ended up eliminating them. But... All of them are above. Jackie Moon and Gomez are sitting secretly down below. Uh, the thing is, now it's going to have to go up river. They just got to be careful because they're going to be on low ground. It is moving right now. They have uh, jalapeno peppers, so they are going to move. They just got to be careful on how far they step in. Oh they don't want to step in the Gomez storm. Gomez scared me there. I thought that was a person who dropped down trying to shoot uh, Jackie Moon there. So uh, People are on them, so I'm going to go ahead and say they do know that they exist down there right now. Uh, they're about to cross the water. The water's probably going to be their toughest part, especially since it's going against them and they right. need to get across. But there are tons of people on high ground. This is where uh, definite elimination is going to come. Someone is getting knocked, so that means oh, it there could is go somebody bad. right it in front of Jackie good. Moon to be not able to make contact with them. Jackie Moon now, unfortunately, putting himself almost right in the open there, of course, building around him. Can they go ahead and make it back out of this? It does seem that they managed to <laughs> get over past the water. Bless me. Sorry. Here we go. A, uh, a blooded dummy uh, decided to go ahead and eliminate someone we are now down to. 10 players, so a solo has been uh, taken out here. But we have not seen the fifth place mark, oh, so there are Jackie solos. Moon, and let's go. Another let's knock with the sub, knock but that thing is he is going to die. And Thirsty. let's go. Oh, there is someone in his box. He is backing up, but he's got to be careful with the storm because I believe it is doing 10 damage right now. He is trying to get away. Oh, and in the elimination. Out. Unfortunately, they managed to go ahead and get place six. So I'm very uh, hoping uh, that enough uh, that does enough there. Uh, to try and uh, oh man they were so close to there's seven players still left and it looks like he may be a solo too but it looks like he's not going to be able to survive that storm hit right now he is no he did that, actually but, yeah. so uh, but he anyways. is going to have to try to survive uh, placing sixth place uh, with how many kills four I believe around three or four three or four so yeah I'm definitely hoping that we can go ahead and manage to keep that first place uh, on mm -hmm. kills and eliminations but uh, honestly that was very well played yep uh, so I see uh, that was the fourth game I do believe so. Uh, I don't believe we'll get updated anytime soon. So if we're going to go ahead and bring it on over back to us. Well, I guess that will be the end of the stream. I believe we have Rocket League at 6. I believe so we, we definitely do. have to keep in touch uh, with our viewers for that. So, Griffins, thank you so much for watching. We had a great day of Fortnite. Uh, again, uh, make sure to be back here at 6. We are going to go ahead and end the stream. Uh, but, yeah, 6 o'clock will be Rocket League. So, uh, once again, thank you so much for watching, and we're going to go ahead and see you in a couple of hours. So, see ya.
Welcome to Rocket League, a thrilling and technically demanding game that's played competitively around the world. To put it simply, Rocket League is essentially soccer with cars. No, not like that. More like... Yeah, that's more like it. Competitive Rocket League can be played a few different ways, but the most common format is 3v3. Two teams, six athletes, one pitch. Each match is five minutes long, and the goal is to score the most goals. At the end of the five minutes, if both teams are tied, it will be an overtime. The first team to score wins, and the clock has no limit. To help players travel around the map, there are two types of boost pads littered around the map. Driving over these will fill your boost meter, which in turn allows you to, you guessed it, boost your speed. When a player is going supersonic, a little trail will appear behind their back wheels. Then, they have the ability to demolish another player's car. Some teams will use demos as a strategy tool to open up the opposing team's net. And, well, that's pretty much it. Simple, right? This is one of Rocket League's greatest strengths. Literally anyone can tune into a match or pick it up to play themselves, and they'll get the gist immediately. But what really makes this an exciting esport for both fans and players is the skill difference between casual and competitive players. Rocket League is an incredibly technical game that, while easy to pick up, takes dedication and discipline to master. At a macro level, teams have to be in constant communication and have nearly perfect map awareness. And at a micro level, because Rocket League is a physics-based game, where individual skill takes over, mastering the control over your vehicle is a fun and rewarding experience. And seeing what the pros are capable of makes watching Rocket League exciting in its own right. Good evening, Griffin. It's a beautiful Sunday. And we got some Rocket League for you. If you're just now joining us, I'm Scorch Darren, also known as Darren Brinks. And right next to me, go ahead and introduce yourself. Cody Doc McLaughlin. Great to be here. Cody, how you feeling? Pretty good, pretty good. I know, I'm excited for Rocket League. It was almost canceled. Yeah, <laughs> it was uh, It was about to be there, but then it, uh, it went from uh, uh, automatic victory to like, hey, you know what, let's play. <laughs> yeah, so for tonight, we do have our very own MWSU Griffin Esports versus RSU. Uh, of course, this is very abrupt, so I don't expect to know what the full college name is, but I'm sure I'll get an answer. And I believe, are we so. playing best of... Roger State University. Got it. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know if we're playing best of five or best of three. Uh, I believe it's a best of five. It is the Midwest Collegiate League, uh, as I've been told. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it. I'm very excited to go ahead and see the typical car soccer game, uh, as we like to call it. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and talk about what we have seen, uh, what we've seen in these past couple of games. Of course, we've seen a... Uh, very uh, well synergized team coming in from MWSU, of course, uh, especially in their last couple of games. We are going to go ahead and get right into the game, but uh, I'm just excited to see what uh, MWSU has to bring to the table here. So, as usual, we do see a kickoff happening uh, already. It seems that MWSU decided to go ahead. They wanted to win the kickoff, and uh, now MK has the ball, and a lot of pressure is already being put onto the side of RSU. As you can see, we do have our very own Shura, uh, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> And uh, wow! And a right. score right off the back. I don't with get Ox time to have and a... making it in there. Uh, I'm sorry, Darren. There are no times. Yeah, there no, are I don't no get waiting. time to have a normal conversation to just try and talk about the team. But all right, Ox going to be able to go ahead and score that first goal there. Here we go, Cody. Uh, when we get, get the chance, hype. also if we could switch around the uh, names, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, MWSU's. yeah. Just whenever we get the chance. Uh, right now, uh, the uh, names are reversed. MWSU did score the first one. Uh, for the people watching, we'll get a fix in just one second. Alrighty. On the side of RSU, we do have Benito putting a lot of pressure on top of Missouri Western. We also have Still on the side of RSU. Uh, and trying to get a look at that, uh, I believe that's Fry, if I do uh, see that correctly. So, uh, as you can see, uh, they're playing very much more aggressive now, not letting their goal uh, be open. So, 
Uh, anyways, uh, Fry here going to be able to go ahead and find that open goal there. Ox not being able to go ahead and score that ball. And Fry is going to be able to go ahead and score the second goal of the game, tying it up at 1-2-1. One, one. As you can see, he perfectly waited for Achuri just to fall just a little bit behind there. Unfortunately, Ox wasn't able to go ahead and flip backwards. So it was probably a good distraction on the side of RSU. Here we go. Third kickoff of the game in match one with only a minute down. Here we go. MK going to be able to go ahead and uh, try and support his teammates there with that kickoff. Uh, Ox going to be able to go ahead and try and dribble Ooh. it away, but it does seem that either uh, Fry was able to go ahead and lead it away here. Chura being placed on goalie. Here we go. MK trying to make it through. Ox being able to make contact with the ball right in front of the goal, trying to keep it away, and that's usually how Missouri Western likes to play, but uh, as of recently, Missouri Western has been playing uh, really aggressive, but of course, they do know um, when to not play so aggressive to the point to where... And a demo with uh, Ox against Still. To... Uh, to the point where uh, I just lost <laughs> my... Oh, and a save by Ox. Barely. They are being aggressive as heck now against MWSU. But we are able to get it back over on RWSU side with so close to getting in there, but so close so far. Uh, one step forward, two steps back. Or no, wait, is it two steps forward, one step back? I don't I have know. no clue. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> my I think apologies, it was two by the way. I, was, I think uh... it was two steps forward, one step back. It was close, but almost there. Anyway, it looks like MWSU is trying to take it back over to RSU side. But oh, it looks sure like it we are be... at the goal. We just need another hit in there, but we were not being able to regroup in time to get it in there. It's okay. We're still good. <laughs> uh, it's We still got plenty of time. Two minutes, 50 seconds to make another goal. Right. Here we go. Uh, Aris, you really needs to go ahead uh, and get it out of uh, out of their zone, if I'm going to be honest, too. Uh, while we're going to go ahead and see uh, a lot of this uh, happening, I'm going to go ahead and wait for that next goal. And, and a there goal it by is. Ox. Ox is there hitting it whenever it makes the sight. Right. So now I do have a couple of things to say because uh, I did get a little bit sidetracked there while looking at the chat with a giant Darren. I love you from James Stream twitch.tv uh thank you uh i appreciate the support i love you too <laughs> and then i also need to go ahead and give a shout out to the discord watch party apparently happening right now in our very own discord server and uh while we're also on the topic uh we're gonna go ahead and plop down that uh uh youtube link uh why not while we're gonna go ahead and have like this uh this fast-paced game going on here as we can already see mwsu uh MWSU already putting a lot of pressure onto uh, RSU. Ooh, and that was a close goal almost on MWSU, but a save by Chura. Right now, they are trying to get the goal. Here comes Ox with the hit, but a block by Still. Fry's trying to get the ball over back to the MWSU goal so he could set it up, but he, we have both Ox and Chura defending it with MK coming back, but right now, we are trying to do the best defense we can. They, uh, RSU is definitely pushing really aggressive on both offense and defense right now, especially offense. Uh, and it looks like there was a miss there, but it's still good. Benito trying to get it set up into the goal for his teammate Fry, and it hit in, and it is a score. Wow. Alrighty, so yeah, no, definitely when it came to that RSU play there, uh, Benito, I thought he was definitely going to take it more towards, uh, actually, no, that's what he did. That's just how it happened. You know, uh, Benito uh, tried, or it did put it in the uh, center goal there, and unfortunately, Ox wasn't able to go ahead and position himself there correctly, and the ball went ahead and went in by Fry, of course. So, here we go. MK going to be able to go ahead and try win that kickoff there, and uh, he does, but that ball seems to be uh, in a very odd position right now because it still is going to be able to go ahead and center it, but Churro playing very well on goalie there, trying to keep it away, and he and Ox uh, repositioning himself uh, behind Churro there, pushing it away. Churro putting a lot of momentum on that ball, but nobody is able to go ahead and meet him halfway there. MK uh, managing to play a little bit of uh, an offense there on the left side of the field uh, from our uh, perspective. Uh, Ox being able to go ahead and uh, put that ball off more towards the middle. Chura, you can see him trying to line himself up there, but unfortunately wasn't really able to uh, get past it. But Fry Dang. is going to be able to come and fly in and score on Missouri Western. That one was a pretty smart move. Not entire, all of our team was back yet. It was just Chura that was there at the moment. Ox did make it back. But we thought he thought it was safe, I guess, at that time to where the ball was not going to be going towards the goal, but probably didn't see Fry. But, hey, we still got a minute eight. We can pull this into overtime if we have to. We just need to score another goal. Right. Here we go. As we can see, Chura uh, actually making sure that he collides himself in between that ball. That might be a oh, goal. Oh, and a save by Benito. Ox was so close on that one. Yeah, here we go. Benito tried dribbling the ball away. Uh, from his own goal line, and I mean, Chura going to go ahead and get a demo there on Fry, but Benito uh, making sure that that ball doesn't get into the possession of MWSU. As you can see, Ox going to be able to go ahead and try and make it a bomb, but Fry is going to be able to uh, go ahead and just uh, slightly keep that ball away and drift it away from its course towards 
uh, the RSU goal, of course. But MWSU, uh, MWSU's Ox going to be able to try and get it over still, but still is putting a lot of pressure on top of MWSU as well. So uh, as of right now, with only 25 seconds remaining, MWSU is in a little bit of a tough position here to try and get it in that goal. MK not being able to go ahead and make good contact with that ball. And with only now 15 seconds left, time is ticking. MWSU needs to try and score once more so they can try and get into overtime. MK is going to go going and towards make it, it. Over. Oh, oh, it so would have been close. a goal. Here we go, though. MK with a last resort. And, and a it score. Goes in. Let's Ox go. With five, seconds, with five left. seconds remaining. Let's go. Ox, definitely well played by Ox. That was the pressure that MWSU needed to put on RSU, and it pays off. That was an absolutely amazing play uh, from MWSU altogether with the good I synergy. Agree. Uh, synergy. So here we go. Chura and, and Benito going to go ahead and meet halfway, but Ox putting a lot more momentum into that ball there, saving uh, that kickoff as well. Here we go. Ball's going to be able to go ahead and get lined up. And it looks like we are going to go into overtime. Thank I, just, I thought that you was overtime. So I'm much. not going to lie. No, we are in <laughs> overtime now. So first person to make a goal will take this round. It looks like we are getting a strong push, oh, but it looks like it is man. stolen by Still, knocking on MWC side, knocked back over to RSU side. Right now, we are on defense, holding the ball, trying to get it back over. Uh, right now, they're pushing so right aggressively. Up. MK knocking it over to Chura, but it looks like Still was able to hit it away from Chura. Ox coming up for the ball, knocking it over there. It's going straight towards Fry and MK, I believe that is. But Ox is not taking his eyes off of it. Here oh, it goes Fry! towards the goal, and it block. Oh! oh Benito with the follow-up. So it close. Does seem that, uh, and it does seem that MWSU will go ahead and lose that first game. Yo, coming in from JD, J, J, JRDNRL saying yo. First time on the stream. Love to give our shout outs to that. But yep, 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 back yep. to the welcome, game, of welcome. course. MWSU, unfortunately, leaving a gap open in their defense and just gave enough time for Benito and Fry to put enough pressure on them and score. So, uh, very uh, kind of a, I wouldn't say an upsetting one, but uh, kind of a harsh one to try and recover back from, I would say, you know, uh, managing to go ahead and save it going into overtime, but in the quick, in a matter of 15 seconds, uh, the ball was, um, it, or RSU managed to go ahead and score. So RSU now one game above MWSU. Just a reminder, it is a best of five series. So first one, two, three wins. Hopefully MWSU can go ahead and recuperate after that and manage to bring in their, uh, let's say, gamer anger into this next game and keep that uh, momentum that they had going. So here we go. Chura managed to go ahead and bounce it over above RSU. Ox meeting him halfway Ooh, there. Oh, that Almost was a close shot right in. there. That would have been a neat shot right there. I haven't seen that one come out of the playbook yet. <laughs> nope. And it looks like uh, and looks like still was able to knock it over. Ox being able to hit it back over to RSU side, but it looks like still is going to go ahead and recover it and knock it back over to MWSU with Ox and MK chasing after it. Keeping it away from the goal as best as we can, but it looks like it is going over there. A hit from Chura knocking it over. I believe that is Benito. And it looks like it is on their side. Almost set up, but Fry being able to steal it away from Chura. Yeah, I actually, one thing I'm noticing is that MWSU is actually playing so aggressive, but one thing I notice is that whoever is supposed to be in the rotation playing goalie isn't necessarily there 100% of the time. Like, uh, it was weird seeing uh, Cher going for the ball, but MK was also going for the ball, and there was probably a mix-up in communication there. Uh, oh, my oh, God! Oh, my God! Benito! That was beautiful! Cher bounced it off Benito! Benito got just, I, I assume, just a little bit stuck there. Chura bounces it off of it. Or I we guess. are seeing some lucky <laughs> shots today. Let us go, MWSU. I'd love to see that. All the luck. Benito, uh, I guess Benito didn't think that it would bounce off towards his goal there. Almost another goal on kickoff, too. Here we go. Ox going to be able to try. Or Ox going to be able to go ahead and stay on the ground. Chura is going to go ahead and get demoed. Can he get back in time? Here we go. Chura is going to go ahead and respawn. Ox being able to go ahead and push that ball towards RSU side. And Chura is back in the game now with enough boost to go ahead and carry himself. So MK is going to be able to go ahead and square it in the middle there. But unfortunately, so much momentum. Ooh, and a hit back over by Ox right now. They are cheaper to keep it in the goal. Ooh, so close by Chura. But we are trying to keep it. Oh, and a miss. No, still manages to go ahead and drift himself. And uh, manages to go ahead uh, and make contact with that ball so it doesn't go in. Now it's really tense right now. Chura, Ox, and MK all the way on their own. It goal looks like here. still is oh. going to stop him. But the ball's it's still going. In. Oh, oh, my God. We are Benito. getting so close to it, but they are able to hit it right on time. Ox is going right to go there. ahead and go for the demo, and MK is going to go ahead and try and follow up on that, uh, trying to get a shot on the goal. Here we go. Here shot on the goal, Chura, but blocked but by Fry. Fry. I noticed that we weren't trying to interrupt each other there, so we both stopped. 
Anyways, ball back on the side of MWSU Griffins quickly, man. That ball is flying everywhere. Uh, MW, or MK going to be able to line it up, but it seems that Chur and Ox are going to have to reset themselves with knowing how much of uh, RSU is playing aggressive now. Benito going to go ahead and try and dribble it past uh, the defense of MWSU, but RSU unfortunately not being able to go ahead uh, and get it past us. So uh, MWSU, oh, I thought it was going to happen there, but it seems like the ball collided in between two cars and managed to go ahead and shoot itself in the opposite direction. There we go. Benito managed to find it over one. Ox making contact with the ball. Can he get it over the offense of RSU? He can. No, there's Fry playing a little bit of goalie, uh, getting that uh, ball uh, away Ooh, from Ox. That was a steal a from hit. Benito, too. There we go. Churl and here comes Ox it. almost with the hit hitting it's the lined top up, right. Though, but unfortunately, Ox couldn't uh, boost himself fast enough to go ahead and get on over. Uh, we got to hurry ball, and steal so. it because right now they're wasting all their boost just to get it towards the goal. Right now, we have it going towards RSU side, but Chura is racing with Fry to get there. Ox, Ox, oh my. Be able to contact with the ball. Here Seriously, comes just MK. stopping him right there. The ball is at a standstill. MK going to be able to go ahead and just get that ball out of the possession of RSU. Here goes Chura again. Ball is going to be able to line itself up. Can they go ahead and get it in? No, Chura unfortunately can't get it in. Ox is putting enough pressure on still to try and uh, try and stop the momentum. Again, this game, usually when there's a lot of momentum, you can't fall under the pressure of the ball. You see how it goes. And so, like, just with this, them almost leaving that goal open right there, as we almost saw, almost made RSU score. But now what MWSU needs to do, and what I recommend, is that they just get one goal or get one or two goals and then just try and keep the ball down low on the ground to the point to where RSU can't score and that will secure a win now here we go we can see <laughs> Dura and MK uh, doing some really flashy plays here MK is going to go ahead and get a demo on top of uh, Benito Ox managed to go ahead and make contact with that ball with mid -air one minute remaining too right now we are trying to keep it in away from the goal I mean another point could secure us a win right here with 52 seconds remaining but right now we just got to do the best we can to keep oh. it over and it's almost a close hit into the goal but it looks like still was able to stop it with the very tip of his car right now we are trying to keep it right now on MWSU side, which is very tense. So right now we're trying to get it past him, but Benito has a straight shot. Oh, no. It's going, oh, oh it hit so the left close. side of the goal. Th that was nerve-wracking there. Oh, I promise you, MK, MK with, with a, a save. Great lineup. Here we go. As you notice, two players now on the side of MWSU are playing goalie. They might need three here. Ball is lined up right in the middle. Oh, the ball unfortunately gets knocked upwards and not being able to go ahead and line itself up, but still trying to make a last forward effort in the last 13 seconds of the game. Here we go. Oxy to just try and get it away from Benito. Benito lines it up, but Chura playing great goalie. Chura gets it past two. It's going to go ahead and make contact with still. Here we go. Ox, the ball only needs to touch the ground now, and the game will go over to MWSU if that it's happens. It's hot potato. It's hot potato, and oh, it looks like it dropped not being it. being able to do a proper dribble, and it falls onto the ground. And now the second game is going to go over to the side of MWSU. Griffins, very well played. Better game played by MWSU, in my opinion. Uh, they definitely had more defense that time, but they definitely had more offense in the beginning. As you saw, MWSU just wanted to go ahead and try and get a single goal. And then from there on out, we actually saw two people playing defense. And most of the time, Chura, uh, Chura or Ox taking turns going back and forth, MK playing a main goalie. Ox and Chura would often take turns just trying to get the ball on the other side and trying to do uh, a goal all by themselves. I agree. And then if it went... Uh, in a downward kind of spiral, you know, it went downhill. You definitely had two people playing defense there. So uh, very well played on the side of MWSU Griffins. Uh, of course, that almost went in, and that would have been uh, very End unfortunate. End of round one, in that round two. But then also I want to mention, uh, on that scoreboard, you could see earlier that – there weren't a whole lot of saves. There weren't a whole lot of any of that for our side, but you could see on oh, RSU's side shot. – <laughs> oh, man, I got a little bit hyped there. Ox almost making it, but it hits the top crossbar. Here we go. Chura's going to go ahead and try and bounce it back towards the side of RSU. Oh, he gets demoed, though. Uh, can Chura make it back in time so that RSU can't score? I believe that will happen there. As we can see, Chura's going to go ahead and respawn. Ball is going to go ahead and collide between two. Ball will slightly go over towards RSU side, but uh, won't necessarily make it. Uh, make it any further uh, than it should. But as you can see, Trey gets it past one. Fry's going to make contact with the ball, bouncing it more towards midfield. Uh, MK also trying to play a little bit of goalie. Ball gets knocked uh, to the left side, as we saw there. Uh, RSU not being able to go ahead and grab that line up there as the ball was sitting uh, in the midfield. Here we go. We Looks like he is trying to set it up with a slow hit in there. Chura but a stop by Benito. 
Man, what an amazing play that he almost executed there. He was and using my, himself to block any car coming the way, and he was able to almost get it in there, but Benito was able to hit the tip of the ball, knocking it away from him. Right, RSU is actually playing much more of a solid defense, as we can see. But, oh, MWSU almost saw that ball going inside of their own goal there. Oh, it seems that MK almost managed to go ahead and dribble the ball past uh, one of the defensive men on RSU, but uh, necessarily wasn't able to uh, wasn't able to get past him. But and a goal MK. by MK. What an nice. amazing shot by MK. I didn't expect that. Goal was wide was open, too. There. Here we go. MK manages to go ahead and bounce the ball outside of the corner. Manages it to go ahead and get past who I believe was Benito, uh, if I'm correct. So very well played by MK. Uh, I'm definitely in that first game, uh, it was kind of struggling a bit to go ahead and get himself. Uh, so, I mean, it has been a week since he, a week since he played, but uh, definitely with the way MK has been uh, playing right now, he's definitely more solidified in the composition that MWSU wants to play. So uh, he's definitely looking a lot better, uh, especially after these past two games. So mm -hmm. uh, I do like to see it uh, immediate improvement, as I would like to say. Uh, it seems that Fry is going to go ahead and try and get a shot on us, but MK and uh, Chura are there. Uh, it seems that, uh, yeah, MWSU is now just a little bit grouped up here. Ox managed to go ahead and rotate himself around to the goalie position, and Ox, that goal is wide open. Can he go ahead and make it to where he can line it up for his team? No, he's going to go ahead and stop Benito from dribbling the ball past him, though. Here we go. Can Fry go ahead and make it pass? Ooh, who's going to go ahead and grab that ball? No one will. MK is going to go ahead and reset it, bounce uh, back over to Ox. Can Ox go ahead and get it lined up? Here we go. Chura going to slightly try and bounce it in, but no, Fry's going to be able to go ahead and just stop that ball as it's coming down uh, back to earth. So we are They are playing more aggressive on offense, too, not just defense. Uh, noticed in the scoreboard earlier, there was a lot of saves. Uh, RSU. Oh, if RSU, you, if okay. you looked at the last scoreboard in the last game, there were so many saves on their side. Uh, we didn't have a whole lot of saves, but that's because we were being more offensive instead of defensive. But right now, it's showing that they're actually playing both sides very aggressively because they know oh, that they can't take another loss. Fry. Fry's going to go ahead and try and uh, stop that ball from going past himself. But that ball's going to get lined oh. up, but NK will go ahead and be there for the save. A lot of pressure being put on top of MWSU right now, but RSU has to watch out because their goal might almost be open. Chura might almost get it in, but what an amazing save coming in from Fry from RSU. Here we go. Fry has taken none of it. He is definitely in the zone right now. You can tell that ball was not going to go in. MK or Benito playing a little aggressive there. Fry going to go ahead and bounce it off the tip of his car there. Oh, but Chura. Oh, Chura with an amazing shot. Chura has definitely become the trick shotter of MWSU Griffin Esports. Um, so here we go. Uh, continuing on with the game still. I was going to go ahead and try just keep that ball inside of MWSU, but they're not able to do it. About a minute and six seconds left in the game. Ox almost going to go ahead and sideswipe that ball off the side of his car. Uh, almost going to go ahead and make it in. Oh, MK might have another great shot here. Ooh, Ooh and a stop from both Benito and Fry at this point. With the minute or with 50 seconds remaining and 1 0 with us in the lead, we just have to be able to score another goal to widen the gap or at least hold the grounds until then. In, but it looks like we are doing very well holding our defense against him. We just got to make sure that we keep the goal blocked off. Oh, it is no, in. the game is Benito tied. Benito scored with assist by Fry. We may be seeing another overtime. What's up? I believe it's uh, Bart Bartopes. Barto Rips. Barto Rips. What's up, bro? Welcome to the stream. Happy to have a new person here. Uh, OTF. Unfortunately, uh, with my knowledge of the game, I don't exactly know what OTF is. Yeah, neither do I. I know what an OTP is. I know what a one-trick pony is. Oh, Let's wow, go. MK. Another score by MK. All righty. It's like every seconds. time we go off topic, I they know. score. <laughs> we can go ahead and go ahead uh, and get a uh, fact check there on what an OTF is. Maybe uh, Luke Tice, our director. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and see if we can go ahead and get that information fact in. Check. No. <laughs> no, but it does seem... <laughs> okay, so it looks like right now we're still uh, trying to figure out what OTF means. Uh, currently, our knowledge guy is currently out, probably going to the bathroom at the moment. Knowledge guy. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, uh, at the moment, I'm not sure. Churro exactly with what it a is. demo. Here we go. Let's see here. Ox and Chur going to be able to go ahead. Um, going to be able to go ahead and try and almost or oh, almost get a shot. Uh, oh, wow, MK definitely bringing... Widening uh, the gap with one second remaining. It looks like MWSU will take this round. 
very well oh, good wow. round. Oh, wow, what a shot, too. I mean, honestly, it, it looked had, like it was going to bounce off the crossbar. It had that but. flick to get in there. And you know what? RSU definitely uh, had a chance to go into overtime there, but with only one second left, ball's immediately going to go ahead and hit the ground there. Uh, MWSU going to go ahead and take that uh, third game, actually, and we will go ahead and go into game four. So uh, I'm definitely wondering what was happening there with the RSU. It seems like their defense just kind of flopped over. And really, I think what happened there is that they just went ahead and try, uh, they tried and pushed for that goal there, but weren't exactly able to execute it properly. And that's what caused them to go ahead and be two more goals down. But that is okay. We are going to go ahead, uh, as I said, go ahead and go into the fourth game here. And I'm very excited to see if RSU can go ahead Back. I'm tempted if to not, say MWS, you would take the game series. Go on. I'm tempted to say OTF means on the field. Are you guys playing on the field? Well, I mean, duh. <laughs> That's. I mean, this might be what that map is called. Maybe it's uh, OTF. I could be wrong, but maybe it's on the. Field. I'll do my research. I'll do my research, of course. Uh, anyways, what we are going to go ahead uh, and see here, uh, C Cody. Curious question. Is there a new Batman movie coming out? Yes, there is. On March the 2nd? Uh, I don't know the date, but there is a Batman movie <laughs> coming out. Because there's a Batman symbol. There's a Batman <laughs> sign in the back. I was like, wait a minute. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure it might be something that has to do with it coming out. Uh, sure. But All right. I, I don't know if it's the movie. I don't know if it's the trailer, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure there is one coming out. Yeah, sure. All righty. So MK and Shira definitely playing a... Uh, a tight game here over towards the goal of RSU. Uh, Ox could be able to go ahead and get it past one, but Benito uh, definitely pushing that ball towards their goal. Ox could be able to go ahead and get a demo, and Benito uh, managing to go ahead, uh, managed to try and shoot a score uh, on our goal, but unfortunately couldn't. So Ox uh, now pushing the ball back over to the side. Oh, almost going to go ahead and go in, actually, but... Uh, not entirely. MK going to go ahead and try and uh, use what boost he can. Chur going to be able to knock it out. Seems like this ball is just getting stopped at a standstill with the momentum. So, anyways, uh, continuing on, uh, it seems that Ox is going to go ahead and try and set that ball upwards, but it seems that Benito will go ahead and jump in here. Chur going to be able to go ahead and wall ride uh, the ball on over past RSU, but it does seem that still will be there to go ahead and... Uh, uh, and what, what are you? <laughs> no, that, I think that I don't know if that's right. No, or not. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, it does seem that this, uh, we're getting a little bit of a game of ping pong here with it going back and forth. Chura might able to. Uh, have you ever played ping pong? There. Uh, yes, I have. Are you good? No. Okay, cool. Neither am I. <laughs> like us gamers, we're athletic gonna gonna at everything. Anyway, Ox gonna go ahead and flip himself towards the ball. But man, RSU is definitely putting themselves in a position where they can keep taking turns and pushing the ball back over towards the MWSU. Chur gonna go ahead and spike the ball upwards, and managing to go ahead and flip himself midair to hit that ball. Now the ball is back over to the side of RSU. Chur uh, is making it past one and, and a score MK by MK with an open goal. That was definitely well played on Chura, actually. Notice how Chura gets it past two and manages to get that ball over to where MK can bounce it off the side. And unfortunately, uh, the whoever was playing a little bit of defense at the time wasn't to make a good connection with the ball, and the ball still went inside. So a mm -hmm. little bit of a misplay, too, but uh, Chura's going to be able to go ahead and assist with that kickoff, as we just saw there. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and get into uh, what seems to be the – uh, second goal phase of the game. So, uh, as we can see, I almost dropped my pen again. <laughs> Ox uh, going to be able to go ahead and hit that ball there, but uh, unfortunately hitting it in somewhat of the wrong direction, of course. But here we go. Ox going to go and make up for that, shooting it back over to uh, the side of RSU. And Shura not being able to go ahead and make that goal there. But, oh, MK almost managing to go ahead and use all of his boost and get to, uh, get to that ball. But it was a good shot, good try, but wasn't able to execute it. Uh, as well as we thought. So here we go. MK going to be able to bounce that ball. Ooh, and it goes that in. was a good. MK is I'm pretty now sure on Fry. Fire. I think it said Fry saved that, but it ended up like, yeah, he did save it, and then it went in. There yeah, we go. So there we go. Fry almost tries and gets it in. Benito trying his best. What is up, Sky the Crazy? CB on top. CB on top. You know what that means? No. Okay, cool. There's a lot of abbreviations <laughs> that are going there's on a, here that I don't know. There's anyway. A lot of abbreviations we don't know. But we are willing to learn, Ooh. and Fry with an amazing score. Fry uh, is making it not Sunday, but Friday. <laughs> What's that? I said Fry is making it Friday, not Sunday. I don't get that. Fry, Friday. Never mind. <laughs> 
Hear the production team in the back, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that was definitely an interesting, uh, definitely an interesting joke you were making there. I did quite get it <laughs> at first. Someone had to explain it to you. Yeah. Anyways, we are going to go ahead and see kickoff there. Kickoff already being on the side of RSU. RSU now hitting it back over the side of the MWSU Griffins. Here we go. It seems that Chur now playing just a little bit of defense. I'm wondering if in the next minute and 26 seconds can RSU make a goal and tie up the game. Now a minute is a lot of time, but if you use your time incorrectly, uh, then what will happen is, uh, of course, that time is just going to deplete even faster is what it would feel like. So Chura being able to go ahead and hit it over to the side of RSU. Here we go. Ox managed to go ahead and spike the ball upwards, and it's going to go ahead and be almost saved by still. Nobody's going to be able to go ahead and follow up on the ball from MWSU's side, so Ox is going to be able to get him once again, put With that ball one in minute remaining still, too. go ahead and meet that ball midair as well. So here we go. Chura being able to go ahead. Benito bouncing it all the way over. It looks like there's one pass, but Ox was able to shoot it over Friday before he could try to get it in there, but there's still still. Aiming for the ball, Ox with the save, and it looks like there's also a demolition by still to MK. But the goal is wide open. Nope, and there it goes back over to RSU side. Right now, we just have to hold it for another 33 seconds or get another goal, which is almost so close, but stopped by Benito. We were so close there. Back to it. <laughs> sure, and being able to knock the ball, playing ping pong with Fry right now, and keep it on MWSU side. There's a pass by Benito. Straight up, Fry is trying to go for it, but I oh, think Ox or someone's blocking it. Here, it. Chura, Chura holding it with 15 it. seconds remaining. We are so close to this victory, but it looks like they are keeping it on MWSU side. We have to keep playing strong. Ox oh, with the block. Ox! Chura hit it. There. Oh, there we go. It is staying away. Right now, we are playing uh, well, monkey in the middle pretty much, but with one second remaining, Ball's gonna hit let's the go. Ground, and it seems that MWSU will take the series for tonight. <laughs> Ox, Ox said he's out already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what an amazing series we just saw there, as much as it was I, only probably about 20 minutes. I still don't know what OTF means. Everyone keeps saying OTF. I don't yeah, know what we'll that means. Go, uh, what uh, of, on, on uh, top, this is, something, I think it, something? Ox, I maybe? don't know. <laughs> Ox the Famous? Anyway. <laughs> Ox, Ox the Famous. Oh, my God. I don't know. We'll do. We'll, we'll go ahead. We'll bring it up next week. We'll do our research. But anyways, as we will go ahead and go through, thank you so much, Griffins, for watching. We do love to see the support. Before we go ahead and end the stream, I have two announcements. We do renew, We do now have a new YouTube channel. Uh, we will go ahead and put the link in the chat, so feel free to click on it and subscribe. Uh, even putting it in there twice, why don't you? <laughs> uh, right there at the bottom. Everyone You're can right. see it, yeah. And so... Uh, Finger slipped, <laughs> but hey, we got it twice there. Also, tomorrow, okay. I do believe at around noon, as the arena e or the esports arena opens, we do have our kind of club day. So feel free, walk in, check out the different clubs we have. Feel free to talk to all the people that will be in there. Uh, I know that I will be in there uh, along with Cody, who will be working the arena. Uh, Come in, say hi, say what's up, Cody. Maybe get an autograph or two. I'm okay with that. I'll bring my marker. And I'll be ready to sign. <laughs> don't, I don't have any merch for you, but hey, maybe get some, play some on the PCs, get some Griff coins, buy something from the store, and then I'll sign it for you. Yeah, we got plenty of stuff to give. I can give you an MWSU sticker with my autograph on it. It's gonna cost extra though, and I'm not talking about Griff coins. I'm talking about real money. Just kidding, <laughs> Griff coins only. Alrighty. Anyways, once again, thank you, Griffins, for watching, and we'll go ahead and catch you next stream. Goodbye and go Griffs. <laughs>